You are listening to Studio MacGyver's Dragon Ball and Video Game Podcast. is going down what is going down it's your boy studio macgyver and you are listening to studio macgyver's dragon ball and video game podcast uh guys if you're new to the show and you're into nerd culture if you're into anime if you're into video games then you've come to the right place guys we talk about all of that shit here and to my listeners out there man i'm sorry guys i apologize for last week's podcast um i just didn't have shit to talk about man the PlayStation 5 reveal was supposed to happen, and it didn't. And uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you would see that, uh, you know, there wasn't going to be an episode. So I apologize about that. But today is a new day, and I'm going to make it up to all of you because today I have a guest, a long uh, time guy of mine. Um, you've heard him before. He's been on the show numerous times. Dig 24-7. Welcome to the show, sir. Oh, man. How's it going? How's it going? It's uh going pretty good, man. I missed all the the boo boo out here in these uh in these uh streets uh, as far as everything else is concerned. But yeah, man, a lot of things to be excited about. The PlayStation Five reveal happened. We're gonna talk about that. We're also gonna get into some Game Gear Micro <laughs> talk. We're also gonna talk about some Last of Us Two. Yes, I guys, the reviews. On that, by the way, you appreciate that, and um. The, the, the Last of Us 2 reviews are out, man. So so I'm going to dive a little bit into that um, because, you know, it's a lot of uh, a lot of haters out there that are a little bit salty. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk about that. And Ubisoft has an event. I'm going to brush by that. They have something called Ubisoft Forward. going to talk a little bit about that. And then, of course, the elephant in the room, Play, PlayStation 5, man. The review, I'm going to talk about all of uh, our favorite uh, games, games that kind of piqued our attention, how we felt about the system, how it looks, all those things, man. We're going to get into that shit, man. Okay. And then we're going to do a little bit of anime. We're going to talk a little bit of anime at the end of the show. You know what we've seen. Uh, I'm guilty of not being able to watch too much in these last couple of weeks, but I did get something done. I did get something done and we'll talk about that. I also talk about, you know, anime we're, we're excited for, uh, in the future, man, and stuff we just haven't gotten around to yet. So, Without further ado, let's begin the motherfucking show. And I'm going to start the show with, uh, man, the Game Gear, the Game Gear Micro. Now, um, <laughs> if you guys don't know, there's a Game Gear Micro out there floating around. There's pictures. Uh, it's a it's a tiny piece of it's basically a Game Gear. If you remember the Game Gear, it was a handheld uh, kind of like the Game Boy back in the day. OK. It's basically a miniature version of that. I mean, it literally fits in the palm of your hand. And I mean, the buttons are so fucking tiny. The control is fucking so tiny. I don't even see how you could really play that. You could barely play that. Um, it's, if I'm being honest, guys, I hate to say this, but it's trash. Okay. It's complete trash. It, it, it's it's overpriced. Okay. Uh, it's so many things. There's four different versions, four different colors. Okay. And each color you get. Uh, you get four games and all the, you know, per, so yellow would have four games and then a blue one would have four different games. So no color, different color has the same game. Okay. Um, It's funny to me because I didn't know what it was until I watched your video. <laughs> like, I'm not really just trying to up the video, but like it really taught me something. I had no idea what it was. I got to see it. And yeah, I definitely can agree with you. It looks pretty trashy to me. Yeah, it's just a money grab, man. In my opinion, I mean, everybody's just going for the gusto. I mean, if I can, if I can say anything, why not just I, remake the system, the little handheld thing, some type of cool, too much money, man. It would probably for production and all that. I'm assuming. Um, so you throw the crap out of yes. Yeah. You know, everybody's trying to do that little micro, their micro thing now. And I guess Sony thought that they could uh, get a little piece out. But what exactly I really right. want to know, I, I, I just want to know who, 
who these people are in these boardrooms when they're when they're making these decisions, what they are actually doing, because I mean, for somebody this had this was somebody's idea. Let's make a tiny version of the Game Gear and let's only put four games on it and let's they basically want you to buy all of them. So you can say, I have all the colors and I have all the games. You know what I mean? Uh, and let's do this. Like, whose idea was this, man? I would love to see the boardroom that they were having this conversation in, because I, I can guarantee you the, the smoke would be thick with, with, with Endo. And, and I guarantee you that the, the glasses would be filled to the brim with sake because you have to be if you're making these type of decisions. All right. Um, reaching for people's pockets. Forty six dollars. OK, they want forty six dollars plus tax for Pretty one of these things for one. Yes, no. for one. Okay. <laughs> also, <laughs> yeah. The screen is so small. Get this. There's also an accessory you can get with it that you can connect to the front of it. It's this big, bulky black piece of whatever the fuck this is. It covers the screen and it's a magnifying glass, so to speak, for your screen because the screen is so fucking small. You can't even read the text. You know, if it's a text or if you're playing an RPG or whatever, you can't even read that shit. So you need this other piece. So add another twenty, twenty five dollars. I didn't get the price of that device. But it's at least going to be twenty dollars on top of the forty six that you have for that. So, like I said, man, this is just beyond retarded, in my opinion, man. Like for real, they really fumble. I, I mean, ten fifteen, I might not have been so outraged, but yeah, it's a bit much. Ten, yeah, that be no. So a uh, Sega is 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 truly. Uh, they kind of they kind of let me down there, man. Uh, you know, they lost a little bit of my respect right there. Um, making that decision and then it had to go through Sega to, to basically stamp it and pr approve this shit you know what I mean like yeah let's let's put it out there I don't know man Um, to me it's a travesty it's just something it just goes to show you know trends are really a thing if, if everybody starts putting something out hey we want to jump on the bandwagon we want to try to get our piece of the pie and just because you know you have a license and you own a certain license or entity man doesn't necessarily mean you have to you know, join the squad, join, you know what I'm saying? The club, because not all ideas are, are going to come out equally and, and and it shows it here. So I just thought it was funny to me that Sega went this route because they had everybody thinking it was going to be some big event, something very, very special. And it wasn't okay. Oh man. If they they hyped this shit up. Xbox style reveal. <laughs> they hyped this shit up, is man. Really a joke. Yeah, it was, it was garbage, hot garbage. Um, But Hey, it's out there. If you guys feel differently, hey, you know, more power to you. One man's trash is definitely sometimes another man's treasure. But I'll tell you right now, guys, uh, I'm not going anywhere near it. So just thought I'd talk about that a taste. Give you guys a little bit of that. But moving on to the next subject, let's just move on. Get off of that. Um, <laughs> last of us two. OK, this is something I've been talking about for the last few weeks. Um, if you go to my my channel, um, I have a lot of content there, um, you know, surrounding this title, man. I I'm so excited oh, about man, this title. Oh, man, you made me a believer. <laughs> I love it, man. I fucking love it. Okay. I'd say you are 50%, if not more, <laughs> of the reason why I bought it on top of, you know, just my own take. But, yeah, they need to cut you a check, a check for marketing on this one, man. But, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it, too. Yeah, like man. I, said, um, I, I haven't even been... You know, spoiling anything. I haven't checked out any of the reviews. Um, just in detail. I, I've seen, you know, some people like it, some people don't. But yeah, more do people think? love it than the people that don't. And, you know, that's another debate, guys. I've done, I mean, I've had discussions about that, um, about the game. And my thing is simple when it comes to that type of stuff, you know. And instead of talking shit about something you don't like or you may not necessarily understand, um, save yourself a lot of time and trouble and leave it a fucking alone. I mean, that's how I look at that. Uh, you know what I mean? If you're really upset about something, now trust me, I understand because there's lots of things that, you know, had me rub me the wrong way, things that I'm a fan of and all of that. And that's cool to be passionate and all of that. But I mean, it comes a point where you eventually just have to, you know, put it on the table and walk away, you know? Uh, and then that's what you're getting with this game. The thing I don't understand about this is the people who are down talking the game. And I'm talking about specifically like YouTubers for the most part. Um, these guys, they haven't even played the game. 
Now, I can respect a person who's played the game from beginning to end and said, look, this game is trash or I don't like the game because of this or because of that. Cool. I can respect that, you know, that critique on something. But I cannot respect somebody who's talking about shit that they haven't even had the opportunity to fucking finish or play, especially people who call themselves the Last of Us fans. If you're a Last of Us fan, a true fan, I mean, aren't you going to be down with the game? And, and don't you want to see the story to its completion? I mean, I know I would. Uh, even if the leaks made you hesitant or painted some kind of picture in your head that, you know, you necessarily didn't want to see. Uh, we're talking about Naughty Dog here. Their pedigree. We're talking about a company who has uh, million dollar budgets on games and storytelling. They're they're you know renowned out here in these digital streets. They're known, and you know if you love The Last of Us or anything else that they've played that you played that they've made, which is you know Uncharted series. I mean, there's a lot of things that these guys have done um, b brilliantly. Then you owe it to yourself to play it out, to ride this shit out. Okay. Now, all the leaks, I've seen them. OK, I'm not going to discuss them, but what the reviewers and what some of the people, you know, who are behind making this game are saying is that what you think, you know, you don't. And all the the percentage of leaks that are out there, it, it's nothing It's minute to, you know, the grand scale of the game. OK, maybe five to 10 percent of what the leaks are that the leaks are that are available right now. That's only about five to 10 percent of the actual what actually happened in this world after you play the game uh so you know i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna put all my trust in in, in the writing and uh, all of that into the game and i'm just gonna gonna move forward i'm a little cynical anyway you know i like dark things like one of my favorite anime berserk i like you know face days night and fate zero and those type of dark anime dark fantasies and stuff and uh you know this is in my wheelhouse right here so oh yeah like, like right. I said, you know, 50% was definitely talking with you, but the other 50% is what I saw for myself. And I definitely do like savage gaming, savage characters, <laughs> savage things. <laughs> so I'm telling you, it was definitely right up my alley. Um, obviously, like I said, I have not played Last of Us, the first one. I know that, you know, big mistake on my part, but I did uh, watch yeah. um, the gameplay video I told you about. It's like 10 right. hours long. No, I did not watch the whole thing through and through, but it was actually a really good experience. Like I said, the person who put it together did a really good job. So that is what allowed me to see a lot of those story points on top of just checking out various things. Um, I obviously saw the multiplayer, which I am very excited about for Last of Us 2, which is strange having right. not really played the first one besides with you. But yeah, I am excited to see that. I like that survival genre. It looks like they've done a good job. And like you mentioned, you know, as far as the developer graphics wise which is what it's really all about to me pushing this thing forward um me my first real gaming experience being with the nintendo can really appreciate what we saw now and especially with this ps5 reveal yeah um on another note though while we're in this podcast talking man your microphone is breaking up it is um I can't even understand half the stuff you just said. I don't know what, what's going on on that end, but it sounds a little like it's just going out or something. Um, I would say the good thing is it should just be what you're hearing on the PlayStation. Okay. Um, so Hopefully that's sound, what it is. Oh, it should be good because that's a different mic completely. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying like what I'm getting out of the microphone. It was kind of okay, right you know, technical. Still it's straight now, Um, but I was just giving you a heads up because I don't know. Don't you have your, yours are chargeable, right? So Yeah. Yeah, because they, I just want to make sure, you know, they could die. We might have some technical difficulties in this moment. No, we could. Okay. But, um, yeah, man, I mean, I, 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 I hear you. And, and I definitely recommend anybody who, who's going to get The Last of Us 2 to actually play the first one. Uh, I mean, I looked it up the other day. It was $10, man, on Amazon. Okay. The whole game. Uh, <laughs> you can get it. If you have, if you're down with PlayStation and you have, you know, PlayStation Plus, you might already have it. Uh, if you, you know, if you're into yeah, the free games that they that. provide. That, but I'm probably going to spend the 10 tomorrow and grab it. That's what I was thinking anyway. Yeah, that would definitely be cool. Um, I recommend that. You know what I mean? I, I highly, highly yeah, recommend Yeah, I think it'd be good it. for me to get a playthrough on it, even if nothing to help build the excitement. But speaking of, like we were talking about, you know, the reviews the hype the i guess uh, people being upset 
like I said, I didn't see all the reviews, but I knew better than to one, ride the hype train or two, make a decision without having put my hands on it for myself. Um, That's the most so important thing. So when I thought about it like that, I said, okay, I definitely want to see this. Like I said, just off of what I saw in the other ones, um, not the other ones, but the other ones specifically. Um, I mean, we've talked about it. I've literally like set up my next weekend to be able to play this for like three days straight at the very least. Mm. Definitely looking forward to coming back and doing those first thoughts next week. Um, yes. But I feel like I've definitely caught the excitement wave on this one. Um, I think the last game that I would say I enjoyed this year was Neo 2. If we're going with the yeah. latest. Excellent game. So it'll be good to see where this falls in there. Obviously, with Ghost of Tsushima coming up next month, too. Ooh, so. we. Yeah, I mean, tell you, back to back, like the championships. I mean, because um, leave it to you, Last of Us 2 is a shoe in for game of the year. Um, Yeah, man. It, man, a lot of people are talking about that. It, it, it is. And I don't know. I'm going to play it and find out, man. Um, I really am. I'm interested to see. And like I said, this one, it's a longer game. They're going to drag you through the mud in this one. Because, uh, like I said, The Last of Us 1 is only literally like between you can finish it between eight and 12 hours you know you can you can knock it out uh and this one here is more to explore there, there's so many things i mean if i've heard people say that um you're not going to even be able to go and explore everything um but you you, you can if you technically want to if you want to go through every nook and cranny you can do that and if you do choose to do that that 25 30 hour experience is going to definitely turn into more so a, you know maybe around 40 uh, hour experience so I'm very looking forward to it, man. I mean, even if I so play let's it, talk runtime then, since you put it out there, you're saying about 25 to 30. I don't think I have yeah, that's the idea. average. That's the average clock time. Um, most people are clocking it in around 28. How do you uh, feel about whatever. that? Would you that's, have wanted more? I feel good. No, actually, actually, um, that's that's good compared to the first one. You know, that's that's more than double the time, and that's like basically just going through the motions of the game. That's not even really exploring everything. Uh, doing everything. That's why most of these guys is crazy because uh, I want to say a handful of the people uh, that I've listened to already who've played it has said that, you know, they're already on the second playthrough because, you know, they got past it initially um, and now they want to go through it again and kind of explore more, do more uh, and, and all that. So I'm thinking about kind of playing it that way too. Not necessarily just doing a straight, you know, straight beeline, but you know, get into that story, get into that meat and potatoes and everything like that, and then let it kind of like sink in and then run it back. And then when I run it back again, I can kind of just, you know. Um, but, yeah, I'm happy with the I'm happy with the playtime. I'm happy with uh, all of that. Now, everybody's screaming production, production, production value that this is one of the greatest games as far as, you know, the production value in a game. Just the little nuances and stuff that go on in I mean, this world. I know? definitely noticed that uh, one of them was with Ellie swimming in the water. When the backpack was wet. Right. That was something that really stuck out to me. And I, I don't, you know, I know there's good graphics when I see them, but, you know, right. I'll give a lot of leeway because I'll pay attention. I, I'll give you some creativity with the art style. But right. I can say when I saw that scene, it definitely stuck out to me just as I thought about some of the games I've seen over the years. Like I said, starting back in Nintendo days. I mean, right. I had a couple guys that had an Atari, you know, in the closet. So I may have even seen that. But again, to see that evolution and now. I think this ridiculous. game is definitely going to be there. Um, the mechanics, watching her move around the environment from what we saw in the, what was it, the gameplay reveal trailer? That was last yeah. week or something. Uh, yeah. That was definitely State good. Play. I enjoyed State that. State. Yeah, man. Um, and there's there's more. I mean, like I said, it, it, you got to be a certain type of person <laughs> to, uh, I feel, enjoy this game too, um, if, I'm being, if I'm being real, because it's going to be very dark if you're not into you know that then it's going to be it could be definitely problematic for you you know um i can see that it, 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 they say that it's it's so it's so hell bent on that that you know just it's going to weigh on you and and that tells me something about uh, games that make you you know feel that type of way give you those type of vibes i mean that lets me know hey they're doing a hell of a job right there um, if, if they can make you literally feel like that about about something that they created, um, the immersion and all of that, it, it's going to be sick. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. I And 
I don't want to jump, you know, to the PlayStation 5 reveal, but something that I had saw is when you talk about immersion, I really don't want to see this next generation of games look at immersion in the sense of it has to be first person. It has to be from, you know, your point of view for you to get immersed. I don't think that's what it takes at all. For me, immersion is how invested I am in this character. Right. Period. And that's the thing. That's the whole secret to to making a good game. I mean, uh, that's why everybody wants to play this. That's why this is the most pre-ordered game in the history of the PlayStation 4. Now, that was interesting to find out. I did not know that. Yeah, man. I mean, The Last of Us had a, a, a lasting effect on everybody who's played it, you know. And even if you played it years ago, which it came out in 2013, um, sometimes you forget how much of a masterpiece something was or how much of an effect it had on you. And then playing it again, replaying it recently, it just made me realize that this story, this universe, this world, these characters, you know, are something extremely special, man. I mean, it left the, yeah. the relationship. It was between those two, I between agree. Ellie. It really just left a mark on me. And I didn't really know it because I hadn't played it. But again, when I watched that 10 hour playthrough video, I mean, yeah, you know, Ellie's cute and she still is cool and. I mean, we've had the conversation about me and female heroines. It's just for right. me, they have to be very well done. Otherwise, it's hard for me to connect because I'm not a female. Um, long story short. Um, but some, like I said, sometimes it is done well. And I feel like what I saw from Ellie in The Last of Us 1, she was done very well. So I'm and, yeah. fully prepared to jump into two and, you know, uh, and be ready for it and like what I see. And it won't, you know, be holding me back at all. So, Especially I think the that DLC. Says a lot to the writing, definitely. Yeah, and the, presentation. The, the, and the only other thing I would say is, like I said, that ten-hour video. It was really like a movie. I have played a lot of games over the years, but that one really played out like a movie. So I thought that said a lot for what they had done there. Yeah, the the, the first game is more of a story-driven experience um, when you compare it to gameplay, and this next one here they basically balanced it and they give you that 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 ah, what's the word I'm looking for that upgrade if you will in the gameplay and in the choices and animations and things you can do as opposed to the last game and the thing I enjoyed most about The Last of Us was the DLC man I mean because I had played The Last of Us um, prior but never played the DLC and now when Remaster came out it included the DLC so as soon as I beat The Last of Us, I went right into the DLC, which didn't take me more than a couple hours. I mean, I want to say two, two, two hours and 15 minutes, something like that. But the ride that I went on in that two hours and 15 minutes, man, it, I didn't think about the time. I didn't think about any of that. I just thought about how crazy w- it would be if I was a 14 year old girl out here in these Last of Us streets looking for medicine out here going up against grown ass men trying to kill me, trying to go after me, um, all, all this shit. Like what, what would I, what the fuck would that, that you got to think about that? Like in, the, yeah. in this, you know what I mean? How, how fucking put, crazy made me think about it in the first place as I was watching that other video and definitely thinking about what I've heard about the events of this second one. And like I said, she was cute. She was sweet. She was heading out on this adventure with Joe and by the end of it. Yeah. Grown men killing them um and what everything else in between when you start talking about the clickers i guess and all of that and the real impacts of that on a 14 year old and why i believe when you look at this next game how old is she supposed to be like 18 i think 19 19 so i mean five years later i mean you're looking at a hardened killer yeah man (laughs) I mean, she was that. If you ask me, you want to keep it real. I mean, at, at the age of fourteen, um, she, she, she. If you play The Last of Us, you see that transition kind of uh, go into play. There's a certain scene in, in that game, uh, which is basically midway through the game, I guess you can say, um, and not even midway. It's towards the end, actually, the climax, uh, um, where she runs into a character who's trying to literally kill her, and she goes into savage mode. She goes into savage mode with a machete 
And she just going ape shit on this dude, just hacking and hacking and hacking. And the only thing that stopped her was uh, Joe, who, you know, she thought was still, you know, laid up sick somewhere. And he ended up, you know, mustering up enough strength to come out there and he see, seen what happened and he stopped it. And he had to basically snap her out of, you know, that rage that she was in and calm her down and let her know that, hey, it's me, it's me, it's Joe, you know, and then she basically uh, broke down. I think that was the most powerful moment to me that gave me chills, that scene uh, when she finally realized it was him. She broke down crying and he all he wanted to do was just hold her and finally comfort her and tell her, you know, baby, it's OK. Um, and I think that's the 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 moment in the, in the game where, which broke Joe with, which basically, you know, uh, he let down his guard finally. And from that moment on, he looked at her, not as, you know, uh, you know, a favor he had to do for a friend or, or a package he had to deliver to destination. He looked at her as, you know, his daughter in a sense, you know what I mean? To where, you know, he's going to do anything and everything he can. Everything changed from that moment on his, his, the way he carried himself, the, his attitude, um, even his mood throughout the game um, changed completely. And I thought that was just so beautifully done. And that made me, you know, also like really, really appreciate Ellie in, in a higher sense. Um, and I just cannot wait to play as her in this game, man, because it's not about, you know, a person's sexual preference and, and all of these things, you know, that a lot of people uh, were bitching about about these leaks and stuff because they were wrong on so many different levels on that. Anyway, if, we, if we're just dissecting that, but it's just about a character and what, you know, is presented to me. I don't care what, uh, you know, what you do in behind closed doors, man. What's the story about? OK, what happened to this person? Why is this person doing the things that they're doing? You know, let's get into that. I, am I entertained? Am I intrigued? These are the answers that, you know, Naughty Dog is going to hopefully uh, answer with spade and spades here in the next week or so. And if you look at the reviews, man, um, the answer is already on the fucking wall. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just a guy that's just going to confirm it and I'm going to play it myself so I can get my own um, feelings and, and opinions on it. I cannot wait because I'm going to be talking about this game for some weeks to come. Whenever you have games like this, uh, they're they're milestones, uh, you know, they're controversial. This one's definitely got all of, you know, those things that, that it needs. If you're trying to make a controversial soup, uh, this is the game right here, man. I mean, that's why I decided to get the collector's edition, because this is going to be a piece of gaming history. This franchise, you know, everything surrounding this game uh, this is just so I'm so hype. I'm so crunk. This did win game of the year, the first one when it came out. Right? Yes, it did. Okay. It did. It definitely did, man. Yeah. You know, and like I said, we're talking about Sony PlayStation um, exclusives here. OK, that's what we're talking about here now. Mm, that's they, uh, it's just fire. <laughs> that, that's what we're talking yeah. about. Today Come on, man. Review. It's too. We, we're, we're definitely going to segue into that because, you know, <sighs> He doesn't want me, guys. He doesn't want me necessarily talking too much about The Last of Us because, like, he really wants to know. Yeah, man. He wants no windows to the soul talk. He wants to know none of that. You know what I mean? And like I said, I haven't though, watched any reviews. It's, it's been tough because usually I don't care. But this right. one, I said, you know what? I'm not gonna watch anything. I don't even right. gameplay mechanics. Nothing other than what I've already seen as far as those two reveal trailers. I guess right. reveal events. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna pick it up and go. So I feel like when I <laughs> give my ten cents, when it's time, it won't be uh, altered by anything else. And that's cool, you know. Um, I, all my all my Last of Us fans out there, guys. I mean, it's all, we're almost here. It's almost time. And um, yeah, man, I, I cannot fucking wait to. Uh, she she could be definitely. Uh, becoming one of my favorite characters, you know, in a story of all all time. I mean, if this game does what I think it's going to do, if this story does what I think it's going to do, and that's a lot because Kratos is my boy from that, from from God of War. That's probably one of my most favorite games of all time. Now, you know, as far as the production, the story, everything about that game. So the only two games that have a chance to dethrone that, or really three, in my opinion, um, is Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. The last, you know, you have The Last of Us, which I already mentioned, and then Ghost of Tsushima. I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, anything else? 
So when you talk about your favorite characters, what does Eloy fall in there from Rise of the Zone? If I even Eloy, she she's there? she's definitely up there. She's up there. She's not the top though. She's I definitely not Kratos. One I heard you talk about a lot. Yeah, 2017, <clears throat> man. She was the one. She's still one of my favorite games. You know, game characters. Um, it, that game, that lore, the lore that that game presents, that it's got some awesome lore. Uh, that game is also beautiful. The production value from from Gorilla has fucking they killed it. I mean. Some of the most beautiful games that's included. That's definitely got the God of War. I it. That's that. I didn't play through it. I didn't dig it. Oh man, I beat it. I got, I got the special suit that you can get. The secret suit, um, that basically absorbs damage. Um, it's the. I mean, it's dope. Like you, yeah. It's that the game. The game is fucking awesome, man. Uh, and and like I said, I mean, we're about to segue into PS Five, so we, we can definitely talk a little bit about the the next game. But Sony. If you notice the first party games, man, they put everything into those games. Production value. Like if you notice those the, the, the production value of those titles are so ridiculous. Um, like I still I still trip out when I'm playing God of War. Like how beautiful that that game looks. Like how they the design of Crater. He looks fucking so alive. He looks so alive and so fucking real. Uh, breathing, walking, the, the the muscles have moved, you know, to the way he fucking, de- I mean, it's crazy. His son, Atreus, I mean, just some of the scenes, man, I don't know how many fucking screenshots I've taken of that game in photo mode. And that's another thing, photo mode, okay? The Last of Us is going to have photo mode, and I, I didn't know what I would do if they didn't have it, because I'm like, yo, I have to have a photo mode. I cannot wait to, um, you know, I'm going to hook up some screensavers, man, that's going to kill the game out here. Okay. Yeah, I know you're um, serious too. You, yes, bro. You and the old <laughs> brother to be on that photo mode. Bro. Boy, the photo mode is so so live, man. It's so raw. I got some dope uh, God of War ones, man. Even some new ones recently. But yeah, I can't wait to to do this last of a shit. It's gonna be crazy sick. Um, I cannot wait. I, I'd be print. I'd print those fuckers out and make it into a guy. That's book. why I'm laughing because like you've got your own digital catalog. You yes. don't care if it's never seen by the world, but. You, your Man. photo log is ready. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, me. <laughs> my laptop needs a new screensaver, you know, from time to time. Let me hook some of these up. The PlayStation right now I have the Last of Us 1 uh, screensaver on my shit. And it looks it looks awesome. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I can't wait for this photo mode. And then, like you said, you mentioned a little bit about the Last of Us, the online um, thing. I can't wait w- when they hit us with that. And trust me, when the game comes out... <laughs> I got a feeling, guys, that they're going to give us something. They're going to give us some kind of inkling, whether it's a uh, some DLC, which it probably won't be, because knowing Naughty Dog, they're going to probably make this a standalone game. I hope they don't, but they probably will. Uh, and it's going to be, you know, five star. Is um, that I'm, I'm, a terrible idea? You got me thinking because they kind of got them separated now, don't they? It's last yeah, they, the game, then you got faction. Because there's a fan base, man. They know that you know, and the reason why they couldn't, they actually had planned to make it, you know, release it with the Last of Us Two, you know, but the the game got so explosive. In other words, uh, they had to put it on double disc. The game is 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 really big. These these environments and all the stuff that they have to put into it, so. They say, well, you know what? We don't want to force it onto, you know, another game and half ass half it. We want to make it all the way, you know, as good as we can. We want to put that Naughty Dog stamp on it. So, of course, you know, I think that it will sell like like hotcakes on, uh, on its own. You know, and it might not even be full price. It could be like, you know, a $30 game or something. Who knows what these guys are, are going to do. But I would gladly, gladly pay for uh, The Last of Us online game. Like separate because I can already. Was there a season pass with the no? There's no season pass. There's no season pass. This is a story driven game. Now, I think they're going to hit us with the some news or some info about it once the game comes out, uh, and once you know all that stuff is done, we'll get some information on it. But I can already see where they're going to go because basically, once you play the second, once you play Last of Us Two, and you look at. Just look at the opponents, look at your your enemies, look at even you as a character. Like Ellie goes through so many different transformations as far as cosmetics, like what she's wearing, what kind of clothes she's got. I mean, she's wearing hoodies, ponchos with hoodies. She's wearing, you know, sweatshirts and all these different things. Um, and then if you look at the characters, too, you know, with her, they're wearing all kinds of different shit, man. And I can see them taking that 
and upon you know like create your character maybe and and have all these things and the maps are so huge i mean i this, yeah i got a feeling that they can they kill the game with this character customization and oh yeah they're gonna kill the game with this shit i, I really feel like they are and they're gonna make some they're gonna make some some money off of that i can guarantee them to you that because like i said the last the, the the first one is fire okay now you add the dodge button, you add all these other things to your character. So if you get, I mean, you can really have these crazy, you know, fights, man, in, in some of these areas. You know, it, it can be, it can be epic. And then knowing them, you know, they're probably gonna throw the uh, the clickers and all that in there too. You throw some clickers out there in the mix and some other the other enemies, that maybe some cool. dogs. That Think about the yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, man. So just to add some uh, NPCs in there. Exactly, could that be? I mean, all kind. Who knows what could? I mean, different modes and all of that. I could see. I can see this really, really being big um, because a lot of a lot of people oh, really would definitely jump on this. Graphics. Yes, sir. The beauty the, the, they push this 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 game to the limit um, on the PS4, and I think part of it is the fact that it's a first party game, so they they know they only have one system to work with, so they had their time to comb over every every piece of hardware and get it just right. Because believe it or not, the base P PlayStation Four, man, it runs smooth sometimes even smoother than a pro there was a there was a video i seen the other day about the water graphics and how the water was working and they had the ps4 pro side by side with the regular base playstation 4 and she was swimming in the water and as she was swimming in the water um <clears throat> as she was swimming in the water they had it um compared they were trying to compare it and for some for whatever reason the ps4 pro's version was you know you saw some some different discrepancies in the water you know you have to really focus but they were there and the playstation the base one it was flawless you know what i mean so they they when they said that they built this game around the base playstation 4 it, it fucking definitely shows uh and that's another thing i'm proud of because look i'm a base ps4 owner i don't have the pro you have the pro i don't have the pro and you know we'll um see how that goes. right you know what <laughs> i'm saying take notes. yeah so supposedly you can scale up you know you can scale up the graphics a little bit, think the 1200, 1220 or something like that on the, with the pro as opposed to, you know, the, the base PlayStation just being like, I think just 1080, but, mm. um, you know, Hey, I'm just excited to play this game and I, and I just can't wait. And, you know, Hey, I thought about getting the pro at one point, but no, nah, um, I'm, I'll rock out my, my PS4 until the PS5. And I guess we could definitely uh, segue into that. Uh, the PlayStation 5 reveal. Uh, but before I get into that, I just want to give you guys a quick little tidbit on Ubisoft real quick. Ubisoft yeah. is having something called Ubisoft Forward, and it's going to be on July the 12th. Now, what they're supposedly doing is just revealing their own titles that they have, you know, coming out. Uh, and, and these are third party games. You know, these are games that, you know, are going to be on both systems and all of that. So I'm anxious to see what these guys are going to do. Uh, the is main Beyond game Good that everybody. Who? Beyond Good and Evil. No, they haven't been. I hope they show something. I hope they, I hope they show something. Um, but that is Ubisoft, so it's I think it is Ubisoft. Ubisoft. I think it is Ubisoft. Okay. Um, I can definitely fact check that. But that's a game that has disappeared that nobody's heard heard about, heard anything about. And I think they're saving it for the next gen consoles. I Man, I just really think that's 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 what's going to happen. Um, and that's why we haven't heard anything. But we could hear something soon. But Far Cry Six is the one that everybody's you know kind of oohing and on over. And trying to Not see about what Assassin's Creed. What about Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Um, Valhalla? Yeah, yeah but that everybody knows that that's coming out though. We we know mm -hmm. about that game. So I'm talking. Nobody knows what about. We don't know. Yeah, nobody knows about Far Cry okay. Six yet and where it's going to be. Um, they got to definitely change it up though. I mean, what's the location? Yeah. And they said that hey, we look forward to showing this shit because it's going to be. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So, I definitely want to find out about that. Now, the only thing. My only problem with that is, you know, with third party games, when we get technical about it is the fact that the graphics are not going to be as innovative as per se, like, you know, a first party title. OK, so if you're getting a system, most people are thinking about, OK, I'm buying a PlayStation because of their first party games, games that can nobody else play except for on a PlayStation. That's why I'm, you know, rocking with Sony. Uh, but there are, will be third party games. And when you talk about third party games, they have to, the developers have to make the game and they have to make it fit for both systems. Okay. And, and, it, and in essence, that actually ends up holding back um, 
some developers because they can't kind of like, you know, they can't really get all into the to the to the hardware like they want to. So there may be something that, you know, a developer can say, oh, man, I could really we could really do this shit if we could, you know, use the PlayStation 5's SSD. We could do this with it or that with it. But you can't because Xbox doesn't have that SSD or they have some something else that's different and it would fuck up the potential of that. And then we would just be going in circles. So wait, 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 you just said Xbox doesn't have SSD at all. No, I'm saying that just giving an example, like, um, different, you know, the hard, we're talking about hardware, you know, Xbox mm-hmm. versus PlayStation third party games are, are designed to work for all systems. Now, you know, developers hands end up getting tied sometimes. Um, when you want to get, in other words, the graphics, the fidelity, certain things in a game, you know, oh, it's going to look okay. good, but it's not going to look like pristine as, as so say, like a God of War. That's why God of War looks so fucking good. That's why The Last of Us 2 looks so fucking crisp and so good, because these games are designed specifically for that said system, that hardware. Now, when you're talking oh, about okay. games that are going to go on everywhere, yeah, they, they have to kind of thin themselves out a little bit, and they have to make sure they do stuff that works for everybody. So, that makes sense. Exactly. So that's you know that's that that's what's the the, the issue at hand when you're talking like about those that issues with the division too between PC and the consoles. You see what I'm saying, and sense. why PC has for some reason they're the master race, but they always seem yeah. to have issues with some certain games sometimes. Like oh this shit doesn't work. They have to the games sometimes don't even fucking work at all. It breaks your computer like literally like hey I I this shit doesn't work. Um so yeah, yeah if it's not made and designed for that. How strong it is all that start to come right. Out. It doesn't matter that it's really about the, the cohesiveness between the developer and the hardware that and how much they know about that said hardware. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it, it's like making a brand new game for another system sometimes if you're trying to do certain things. So, you know, that's what we're that's where we're at. I am definitely anxious to see about, you know, see what Far Cry 6 is going to look like, depending on the, the, the backdrop of it, because I did enjoy five. And uh, well, I hope it steps up to co-op. Cause five had co-op, so yeah, um, it did have co-op. I never played the co-op though. Um, I almost beat it, didn't quite get around to finishing it. Something came up, and I still have it though. I can jump right in. It's on my hard drive. Maybe so. I can grab it on the low. We can run through that or something. That'd be sweet. That'll definitely be dope. Um, and I still have the uh the the expansion uh game, the the DLC, if you will, but it's its own oh, separate okay. game. Um, it's uh Far Cry. I forgot the name. I still got it. Brand new in the package. Still hadn't even had a chance to play it yet, but I will eventually. But yeah, Ubisoft, I, I fuck with Ubisoft. Okay. Uh, have they made, you know, some of the best decisions, you know, from time to time? No, they don't. Sometimes they, they trip. But, you know, as a whole, as a company, the, the games that they put out, man, they, they do, they do exquisite things. They really do. Most of their shit is fire. Okay. So, you know, I fuck with Ubisoft. Really do. Um, Sam Fisher, all them boys, you know, that's Ubisoft, man. Okay. Can we get that on the nigga. <laughs> Boy, I, they, 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 it'd be a crime if they didn't put a, put another I mean, Splinter Cell out. <laughs> um, not Splinter Cell. What the fuck I'm talking about? Um, yeah, Splinter Cell. Yeah, it is Splinter Cell. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Okay. Yeah. They, we need another one of those though. Yeah. We definitely yeah. call it. PS5 needs that. Fuck that. We all need that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that game, yes. that type of game. So. Yeah, man. I think we're going to, we'll see one in the life cycle. You know, I, there, there's so many things to be excited about with this PlayStation 5, man. Uh, oh, just man, as a gamer in the future. To reveal next week. July 12th. Oh, who knows? Who Wait, fucking July knows? 12th. Oh, July. That's not June. Yes, yeah, July 12th. Yeah. July 12th. Um, but let's, 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 let's talk about, let's get into this PS5, man, because let's, let's start with you. Like, what did you think? I mean, honest thoughts. We talked a little bit about this off air, you know. But what are your um, thoughts? I I got to start by a mention of the Xbox because I did watch their reveal event too. Okay. Um, just kind of by comparison type thing is what naturally happened. Um, and when I saw the Xbox event, I think I saw one, maybe two games that look interesting to me. But outside of that, I, I mean, there was nothing else, just to be honest. I mean, kind of like, I felt like at least with the PlayStation 5, when you got to see a little bit more of the hardware, you got to see uh, one of my things that was a highlight. It looked like they kind of showed you the uh, power on screen for the right. PlayStation 5. But um, just looking at it as that comparison, I had to mention the Xbox. Now, the PlayStation 5 event, I thought I had missed it. 
which is funny. Like, I thought I was going to have to watch it on YouTube, some type of replay. Come to find out, you know, I hadn't missed it yet. So I said, yep. hey, PlayStation 5 event. All I could think of was that one they did where they had, like, the orchestra, right? Right. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> they they're going to pull out all the stops. So I got time. I'm going to sit down and watch it. And it's actually funny because my wife watched it, too. Like, I guess I kind of hyped it up compared to the Xbox one. Okay. Um, and the reason why I even mentioned her in this moment is because she saw a lot of titles that she liked, which I thought was kind of interesting compared to me, who I felt like, and we talked about this, I feel like I'm kind of the the odd man out on this one because I saw some good games. It definitely beat out the Xbox, but I didn't see my unicorn. Okay. And when I say my unicorn, I'm talking about that game that, you know, I didn't know I wanted. Right. Um, I saw some stuff that came close, and we'll talk about that here, but I'd say that's my overall impression. Um, also, the fact that even though I didn't see my unicorn, I know now that we have the ability to build it. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Oh, yeah. That That's what I came away with that, st- you know, I'm excited and on top of some of the titles, but that's what I know for sure. Maybe it wasn't in this particular package, but right. it's coming. Because the the uh, the capability is there, so that was my right, yeah. takeaway. Yeah, man, it's here. Uh, I know, you know, I found a handful of games. I found about seven, eight games that that I was excited about. Now, some of these are are indie titles, but uh, they're titles nevertheless, and mm-hmm. I am definitely excited, man. Because think about, you know, when the PlayStation Four came out, when it first you know dropped, there was nothing that really you know, came out um, that had me like, oh, I'm going to get this day one. Uh, and that's, you know, so that's something I had to consider, too. And you're absolutely right that I hadn't when I, you know, originally thought about this, like because when PlayStation 4 came out for me, I, I had the white Destiny edition. So right. I grabbed it as soon as it came out. And Destiny was the game that made me do it. Right. So this by comparison, I definitely see what you mean. And, you know, there's a laundry list of games here that is like yeah you looking forward to so i i i gotta give it the salute on that you yeah they coming hard man because you got a double whammy you got the backwards compatibility aspect of it which is the main reason why i was going to get it because i could play you know my other games my especially my you know my sony first party games on on the ps5 and and get you know a slightly better experience out of it as far as load times and all these things are concerned and then the other side, the other slap, if you will, is the games. Now, you know, I mean, you have mm-hmm. some games here dropping uh, right around the same time. And that's that Spider-Man Miles Morales, man. That's that's one right there that, you know, it was like, yo, I get to play this when I get to PlayStation 5. What? Are you serious? Let's go. And that's just one. OK. Um, is that the thing, though? Is it because that now there's more uh, sequels to look forward to? Um, that as well. I mean, when you think about the beloved games that made, you know, play PlayStation 4 a staple in the gaming community, you got to think about the first party games. That's what makes it happen. We're not talking about third party games. Anybody can play third party game. The first party games is what makes, you know, the company and it's what sells systems. And mm-hmm. yes, I mean, I'd be a fool to say I'm not looking forward to, you know, God of War 5 or, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn 2. I mean, those are two games that Anybody would slap their grandma, you know what I'm saying, for if they could have it right now. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, of course I'm looking forward to the sequels. You know what I mean? Ain't even Resident a d- deep Evil dive into 8. the what? Resident Evil 8. Yeah, Resident Evil. I mean, there's so many. Man. Gran Turismo. I mean, there's so many games. games with some lineage on them, man. Right. But Resident Evil is, um, I think that Resident Evil 8 is going to be a third party. Cross platform. Yeah. yeah, there's going to be third party. But still. Um, those are some titles that are coming. I mean, like I said, some of these games on this list are, you know, not necessarily first party, but safe to say Resident Evil One is PlayStation, right? Resident Evil, yeah. One, Resident like Evil you One had to was get PlayStation to get that boy when it came you did. out. To my you did. recollection, you did. Yeah. So you yeah, know, you talk about genesis of things. If you yeah. want to go back, <laughs> but I mean, but then you know, now it is it's. More money, of course, to have it on all yeah. platforms. So that's what's going to be. And, you know, like I said, you know, Xbox is definitely, you know, going to be a powerhouse as far as, you know, everything it can do 
You know, it's going to be able to like everything is every game that we play, whether it's on Xbox or the PlayStation five is going to be an upgrade, you know, in every sense of the word. It's just the, the, the option or the, or the problem of figuring out which one you want to add to your library. Cause not everybody, trust me, is going to be spending a thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? For two systems, when they come out, it's just not going to happen. If you can afford that, both of them. You made me think about this crazy, right? So cell phones these days, you're spending like a thousand minimum, and that's what you're about to do for this system. Right. But that's kind of cool. I mean, you know, to think that a PlayStation 5, you know, is is less expensive than a fucking cell phone now. (laughs) You know what I mean? My cell phone was like 600 bucks when I got it. So, yeah, Yeah. um, makes sense. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'll drop 500 so easy. Uh, now, one thing that everybody's talking about is the fact that Sony has released, you know, two versions. Uh, Xbox has done the same where you have the digital version and you have the standard version. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people who don't care about, you know, physical media. And if that's the case, hey, that, that system would be right up your alley. It's going to definitely be about $100 cheaper. I'm predicting right now that the uh, the, the base PlayStation is going to be 500 and that the um, you know, basically the the other version, if you will, with no disk drive, is going to be three ninety nine. So a hundred dollars cheaper. That's what I'm predicting. Man, it's going to be somewhere around that. Thing to me too, because truth be told, I've been doing a lot more digital than physical lately. Right. But when I look at this choice, I got to get that physical piece. Like right. And now I didn't, you know, obviously if it's a hundred dollars more, because I feel like you're going to the next gen. Right. Why not bring in that functionality? Because it probably will be phased out eventually. Oh, yeah. Them putting those Um, out, let you know that 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 is. Exactly. So I feel like if I'm already spending the money, let's go ahead and grab that ability, man. Now, me. So you're saying you want to grab the standard or you're going to grab the. the, the, I'm getting one that will take the discs. Okay, yeah, that's what most people are going to do. Yeah, in a minute. Like I said, it's not even going to be an option. Exactly. Um, And you want those first-party games. Like me, if I buy any game, you know, there might be some digital, you know, indie games or something like that. But the first-party games, I'm definitely uh, buying physical because those are the ones that you're not going to be able to get on any other system. Like the God of Wars, the the Last of Us 2s and stuff like that. You want those. I want those in my hand. You know what I mean? Physically, yeah. I want them. So, yeah, uh, you know, uh, there's going to be some a people. Big deal too, like on a smaller scale, because I'll just give an example. Red Dead Redemption 2, when the game first came out, there was like this little loading glitch you could do where you can get like any horse in the game to spawn. But since they patched that, so you can't do it anymore. And I think with mine being a digital download, it's going to give me the latest patch. Versus if you had that, this you can put it in you know you're getting the original how it came out the box and right you have the option to you know patch that stuff in so i think right you know something minor but something to think about with the way and, and, and shifting. it might be easier i don't know how it's going to transition but as far as like okay i got a ps5 now and i want to play god of war on the ps5 do you know i have the disc boom i slide that in as opposed to yeah. okay well i have it on my hard drive do i take this hard drive and hook it up to my ps5 and will the hard drive even work uh from the ps4 with the ps5 do i do, yeah. would i have to reformat it you know what i mean and which you probably would have to do so that might cause an issue you know with playing the downloaded version of those games who knows we're still in you, you know, know uncharted territory here honest, and maybe this is just me with these digital games sometimes i forget what i have <laughs> so oh yeah oh yeah like i guess like you know taking time to go through that library i did right. so like actually a week ago and i was like oh wait i did buy that so right I think that's kind of a thing with that um and you know i did a little bit more on steam so i've been managing that a little bit more but i ain't got but two games in there so right. i don't know moving to this digital age man yeah um shit, man i've been you know a game that's been on my mind heavy that i've been wanting to replay <laughs> that's crazy that's is uh Metal Gear Solid Five, man? Wow. Um, and you yeah. know what? I have that. I have it too. And I but I have it where. digital though. I have it digital. <laughs> That's what, so I, I don't. I think I have it digital. That's what yeah. talking about this. I have that, and I cannot think where it is right now. Right. But I do believe I spent money on that. One. Yeah, I have it, and uh, I just I don't know. I'm kind of. It was a great game. It was a fucking awesome game, man. Uh, it was a beautiful game as well. Um, they did a lot of things cool with that game. 
So I don't know. It's been on my mind for some reason. Oh, uh, we're not getting no more Metal Gear Solid though, right? Wait, uh, oh boy. I don't. I don't. I don't know, man. Um, they're talking about Sony's trying to, <laughs> trying to get those, trying to make some deals and buy those rights. You know, I man. As we speak, so. Like I said, man, oh, Sony is dangerous. I think they're better off just creating boy, something new because I don't you're know. Talking about getting this and trying to create something new with the guy who pretty much birthed them all gone. No, nah, but see, that's the thing. I don't think when they usually do stuff like that, these guys are obsessive compulsive, man. They have to be a part of that. You know what I mean? And Sony, I don't think would have any problem with that. You know, letting these guys come in and be a consultant and, and go over mm. some of the things. I, I think I that would be an issue. I thought kind of the contracts and things he wouldn't be able to. No, nah, but see, they, they, we don't know what contracts they're, we don't know what they're, they're, they're really? discussing. You know, it might be in his st- stipulation in his contract. Like, if I give you guys this, I still want some kind of creative control in, in, in certain aspects of it on this character or that character or whatever. So, we don't know. I mean, it's a lot of legal oh legalities in this shit. So, but you know, just rest assured, Sony's making moves. They're always making moves. This is Sony, okay? Uh, I'm an anime guy. You're an anime guy. Uh, we have a lot of roots in that community, uh, in that culture. So it's only you know right that we get on board with Sony because Sony has those relationships as well in spades. And we've gotten a lot of games from you know overseas, from from that area. Um, part and of that culture and we've gotten to play them because we had a sony playstation and without that relationship we don't get those games okay uh so yeah. that's another reason why i'm into uh sony and in those relationships that they have man they just cater to so many things that i am me personally a fan of so i mean it's a win-win for me yeah and i feel like even going back to that playstation 5 reveal talking about the titles um grand theft auto 5 the remake or okay. whatever they're calling it. I, I can, I, I told you when we spoke <laughs> prior to this, that, you know, I was grinning ear to ear when that yeah. thing popped up. Cause I thought it was grand theft auto six. Right. <laughs> Everybody did, man. Talk about Everybody my, my did. heart was in my chest. I thought that was grand theft auto six. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> sadly not. <laughs> sadly not but i mean it makes sense especially with this conversation we're having if rockstar was going to reveal that it's definitely going to all platforms and they would probably do it themselves yeah so that's i guess now it's pretty obvious i mean it's going to be a, a tumultuous event you know that you you know when they reveal that it's going to be mm-hmm. it's crazy how video games how far they've come because now motherfuckers are tuning into this shit like it's a you know what I mean? Like it's a grand. I, I told you for this PlayStation Five event, when I found out I wasn't gonna miss it, I turned in like ten minutes prior. You know they had the little pregame show. Right, it was People everywhere. Were over there talking <laughs> with the live chat, and then I thought to myself, well, I don't want to watch this with IGN if I can get it straight from PlayStation. So then I switched right. to them to stream it, and yeah, yeah, man. Like I told you, I literally pulled my chair up, was ready to go for this thing, and you that can watch was it with your favorite because I've YouTuber never now. done that before on these events so all of that it yeah man to where we're going it does and now people are you know the e3s are, are are dying you know now we're having the company just come out with their own shit you know we talked about ubisoft mm-hmm. earlier their their thing their event that they had and the last Sony of us had their own too yeah that the last of us a part event thing they did exactly that you see them stay to play their state yep. of play that's what i'm saying everybody has a nintendo has their you know has their thing that they do uh you know so Everybody, you know, Nintendo Direct and everybody has their own thing now. You're starting to see that now. And it's giving the customers, you know, the option and the choice to just, you know, go where you want, you know, follow who you want to and, and focus on what games you want to. Because we're, 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 we have so much now in the gaming community that is out here. We have so many different umbrellas that you can kind of go up under and they lead to different things and more things here and there. You have that option. I love that. I love that you get that option. And speaking of, you know, the games uh, from the PlayStation 5 reveal, you know, there's, I have a handful of them, man. I mean, you said you didn't really only a couple resonated with you. And that's that's cool. I was I was stoked um, when when it was over with. I was extremely, you know, I left on a positive note. I was very excited. Um, and even the way that the, the PlayStation looked, we finally got the reveal. They've taken so long to let us to give us a look into what it looks like. Some people love it. Some people don't. Um, I've seen sandwich memes and, and all these things out here. Uh, it looks like kind of like a sandwich uh, in a sense. And, you know, at first I didn't know if it was going to be able to lay flat or not, but it has been confirmed that you can lay it flat as well. So it gives you that option. I don't know 
how I'm going to have it displayed yet. I'm still trying to uh, work out that I might decide to go as t tower mode this time. You know what I mean? I thought about that and I think I'm gonna have to just do some rearranging um, in the man cave, but I think I can make it pop. But yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with everything. I mean, I don't necessarily give a damn about how a console looks cosmetically, but if you know, this one do look good though. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a lot of people like it. A lot of people think you know it looks kind of weird too as well. You know, um, I mean, I'm looking at my pro right now. It's I mean, it's basic black box, right? Right, right, like, right. I feel like this one had looked like it was kind of what's the word I'm going for? So I guess it had some more spherical things going on, right? Um, rounder edges type deal. But um, even talking about these games, which, which ones were you looking at, man? Because I've got actually I have a list in front of me. It's just straight the name of the titles. So okay. you go yeah. through your list, I'll kind of be able to. Okay. Try and um, it. of course the first one is the Spider Man Miles Morales. Um, this is a first party title. This is why I'm so excited for it because it's focused on the PlayStation Five. So I know they're gonna do some great things with that. Um, really wanted to see, you know, kind of play how Miles played the game. Kind of just give you another look um, into that world or whatever. So I'm excited for that. Um, Bought it, but did not beat it. The original. Wow. Okay, I did. Yeah, I ran through that. <laughs> I'm terrible. Mm -hmm. But I did that. But there are some games I beat. Like uh, we talked about uh, the Star Wars, obviously God of War. Right. Uh, what is, I'm just trying to think more recent things. Neo 2, I beat that. Okay. So I feel like games that actually take the time and go all the way through that says a lot. But let's continue. Right. Um, so Spider-Man. Ratchet and I, Clank. Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank. Clank. Okay. Yeah, the Ratchet and Clank game looked like a fucking Pixar movie. <laughs> okay. I'm a fan of the series. Right. I've played it several times. This one's one that definitely was not foreign to me. Now, this one is a big one to talk about to me because when i saw the gameplay obviously it looked great i expected nothing less because honestly the other one i played looked pretty good and that right. was back on had to be three playstation 2 3 but anyway um this one was important because when i watched it i said okay new ratchet and clank cool whatever but yeah. then when you see the what they were trying to show you in the load times and how he was jumping through the rifts and yeah the no load times on that that's when I came to appreciate that one more because you're starting to see that they're showing the horsepower is what yeah. I'm getting at. Yeah. Um, maybe, you know, that's not necessarily, like I said, my unicorn, but it's good to see them pushing the power of this system. Right. I definitely and see, I see that. And taking it in some interesting ways. You know, they introduce some new characters. Looks like he gets separated from uh, Clank. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to play. I think that one definitely a family game. Uh, me and my son, I, I definitely see us kind of you know playing even the Spider Man one too. I mean, yeah, going crazy because he loved that game. So, um, I can't, yeah, that's, I still can't believe I didn't beat that one. Man. And I, I, I oh, can't. Yeah, that's I cannot believe that. That's crazy, man. Uh, um, the next one on the list is a game goes by the name of Project Athea. Now, this game, we didn't get any hardly anything on this. We got literally. Did we even get 30 seconds of this shit? I mean, maybe mm, 30 to 45 question. seconds or something. Barely, it's really yeah. low. I, you know, I'm going to dive more into it and, and and do some more research on it. But it's a Square Enix game, so they don't have to say anything else. Okay. Yeah, you talk great. about Square Enix. You talk about RPGs. Those two things are, are belong in the same sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, and they always create fire. I love Square Enix. Um, there's a couple of Square Enix games that are that are on the horizon that that I'm interested about. You know, uh, Dragon Quest has a game uh, from these guys as well coming out in 2021. Uh, the Adventures of Dai. There's so many things that Square Enix is responsible for, man. And I cannot wait to see what they show us uh, in the future when it comes to this game. Here, it looks very dope. Uh, it looks very dark. Interesting thing on that game to me, they didn't. I didn't see guns and swords. Um, looks like it's going to be more, I guess, I lock control, mental telepathy, I guess just, you know, waving your hands, I guess wizards type stuff. So I think that'll be interesting. Definitely, definitely interesting. I think it's going to be a little more than that, but you know, it's amazing what people show us and we think we know, or we think we know what's coming, you know, and I make the last of us two reference with that because people think they know certain things, even God of War. I remember the, the first reveal of that thinking I knew what I was in for and I had no fucking idea. Okay. Uh, th about that game and even the length of the game, like the length is long, longer than I remember it being as well. You know, I'm, I'm playing through the game and I'm doing all these things. And I'm like, yo, we not here yet. We're not there yet. Oh yeah. We got some shit to do. 
You know what I mean? And I got some exploring to do. So I think I did, you know, 50, 60 hours on, on uh, my first playthrough on, on the God of War. So, yeah, man, I mean, I'm looking forward to these games. Like yeah, Meteor games, um, you know, and just a lot of lore. You know, I, I'm a sucker for lore. Got to have it. Um, God of War had so much lore with the Valkyries and, and some of the other stories that you could uncover. And you could beat the whole game without playing against one Valkyrie if you wanted to and just leave it alone. But um, it, it it really says something when you a game makes you say, no, I'm going after every fucking Valkyrie. I'm headhunting these hoes and I want them all. I want all the smoke. And it was fun. Uh, and I, I just love to get my ass whooped by one and then saying, OK, I'll be back, bitch. And, you know, get a little stronger, change up my gear a little bit, come back and wreck fucking shop. I just loved uh, that aspect of it. And and these are the games that we're going to get, man. We're getting these games that um, are going to be bigger. They're going to be faster. They're going to be better than we've ever seen before, especially when we were talking about first party games, because they just give a little bit more love and, and tenderness and care to those games because they're, it, they're, they're made specifically uh, for that said hardware. And, and I cannot wait this game here. It's going to be a doozy. I already know it is. Uh, and that's the number four on my list. Now, one that I'm about to talk about now is one that we both uh, resonated with a little bit. And this is one of the only games that you really kind of uh, turned your head around and said, oh, what is this? And this is not even a AAA title. OK, this is an indie title that goes by the name of Little Devil Inside. Now, this game is art style is crazy. It's something, you know, I haven't seen a lot of. And it's an open world 3D RPG experience, OK, with survival elements. I mean, that that's how I can sum it up. Um, that's what it, it said when I looked it up and I started trying to get some information on it. Um, it was a Kickstarter game back in 2015. OK, and it kind of disappeared, kind of fell off the map for a while and then it resurfaced. And as you can see, it's here now. Now, this game is also going to be out for the PlayStation 4. So it's coming out PS4 and PS5. It's going to be a timed exclusive. Okay, so maybe six months, maybe a year. That's typically how oh, these okay. things work. And then it'll start going out to everybody else. Uh, but it's the release date is going to be sometime in 2020 now. So I don't know if the holidays... Oh, this are, year. Don't. Yes, this year, 2020, for sure. So definitely one to look forward to. Um, I'm guessing, I'm just throwing this out here, I'm guessing it's going to be coming out right around the the release of the PlayStation five, man. And that's, I think why they showed it because they probably plan to put this out alongside Spider-Man and which is also scheduled for 2020 holiday. So basically some of these are going to be released around the same time. And what excites me about Sony in general is the fact that they told us that this is not the last spectacle we're going to get before the PlayStation comes out. We at least have one to two more showings of what this is going to entail. Probably the price. We'll probably get a, a price and then we'll actually get a release date and then we'll probably get some more titles coming out and we'll get the release date titles. So by the by the time the system comes out, we'll know how much it is. We'll definitely know what games are going to be available day one. Those are the two most important things. What's available day one? What can we look forward to playing uh, when it comes out and the price? So we'll get all that. Sony knows what the fuck they're doing. Um, you know, they want us out here thirsty. Uh, they want us out here, you know, what I'm saying pandering and, and, and waiting um, and, and they know what they're doing, man. So uh, I'm excited. I'm just I'm just so happy. Um, what did you think about the devil inside that game? Because you, um, you mentioned you liked it. I hate to say it, but I, it's probably one of them that had I was most interested in curious. Yeah, about. it was it was definitely a great um, one. especially being something that I would typically play. Yep. Um I would definitely I've play heard that. whispers of multiplayer. Again, whispers. Right. Um so um that's definitely one and then like I just found out this year. I thought maybe twenty twenty one on that one. So that's good news. Nah, yeah, man. Um but yeah, I feel like it's kinda odd that I'm going with that one is what was most interesting to me. Especially I can't wait. I'm studying this list a little bit more. There's still a lot of questions, though, man, that I have, you know, and I'm sure they'll answer, you know, and one of the most important ones with the PlayStation 5 to me is when you say you buy a PlayStation 5 when it comes out, how does that work uh, as far as, you know, your your gamer tag and all of that? Does, is, is that going to coexist? In other words, the, the gamer tag we have now, are we going to have to create a new one or is it going to run concurrent with the one, you know, with the I PlayStation 5? Like that's over. I'm wondering. 
I'm wondering that. And if they still, you know, where we have the subscription, the online thing, do we have to pay for another one or will we just have to pay the ten dollars, you know, a month or whatever that we've been paying for our PlayStation Plus? Will that roll over to the to the new uh, PS5? I think it, I, I, it should. OK, I really see you doing that. It should. That, that's what I'm going to say. It should, because they got to kind of cater to all the PS4 fans as well that are still out there. Um and I think they they're going to figure out a way to do that. But those are questions that, that I have. You know, how's that going to work? So if you turn on your PS5, will it just, you know, your gamer tag, all your information pop up on that. And then you turn it off and go to the PS4. You know, how does that work? So that's going to be interesting. Definitely. And then, you know, we have all these questions about, you know, how the interface is going to be, you know, how all that's going to work. And we all know that's a work in progress for the most part when you're talking about new systems, because I remember when the PlayStation 4 first came out, it was bare bones in there, man. I mean, we didn't have... A lot of things that we have now, like the Creation Studio, we didn't have uh, the time, the, the the DVR where you could record. You know, we had limited time we could record. Now you can record up to, I think, an hour at a time, uh, video gameplay. So I'm anxious to see what these guys are going to have on here. So if you want to record some gameplay, you know, for videos or something, uh, reference, you know, how all that is going to work coming out. So get ready for a lot of updates, you know, over the years and them adding new things and stuff like that, you know, but I'm anxious to know what they're going to have day one, like on this, on this interface and how the shit is going to work. So many things, man. So many things uh, with this PlayStation five. Um, what other games did you, did you see if any besides little devil inside that you kind of resonated with? I'm actually looking at this. Well, I got to mention Gran Turismo 7, even though that's not one I'm looking forward to buying. It's a beautiful game, though. Yeah. Get a little closer. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It looked really good. I have experience with the uh, genre, so I really was able to appreciate what they did there. Um, I feel like the Godfall game is kind of like Sony checking a box, but I'll probably take a look. Right. Um... I'm looking. Uh, we talked about Ratchet and Clank. Ah, uh, the Death Loop game looked interesting, but I, I don't know. I expected a little bit more. Um, what else we got? Uh, the Kenya Bridge of Spirits. Um, that game definitely did look good, but it, I don't know. I can't really say anything until I play it, but. Definitely look good. I don't know how I would really feel about the gameplay once I got in there. Because to me, it looked a little bit like Pikmin. A little bit. Um, mm. And then I'm not too big a fan of NBA 2K. Like, never. I mean, it looked good. I've heard it's a cool game, but that's not one I play too much. Um, we talked about that Stray game, you know, offline. That one was interesting, but again, I don't know what we're doing in it, so I can't say too much. But it definitely right. kind of made you think what's going on here. Um, that's really what Horizon, obviously. Right. I, still I wish we would have gotten more. That. Another game I bought but did not beat. I can't. Um, yeah, I, I just, I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know what I got going on with that. <laughs> I mean, it's like these games are great titles. I think the only one of the games that I bought like that that I kind of regret it was um outer worlds, outer worlds. okay yeah yeah uh yeah outer outer worlds. Worlds, like the corporations in space mm -hmm. yeah um ghostwire yeah. tokyo the one where the guy okay. was running around doing the right. hand gestures look like he was right. fighting some demons i don't i don't know what that was but curious to say the least okay um sack boy a big adventure that would oh. look interesting because i saw the multiplayer Okay. Um, looks like a 3D Mario, maybe Banjo Kazooie ish. Okay. I don't know. That could just be my mind. <laughs> I see your wife playing see. that one, definitely. Yeah. Um, I think she actually mentioned that. Okay, Destruction All Stars. I feel like that's one I probably should have liked more than I guess because I've seen some other people reactions. They were really excited about that. That's the one with mm. the cars. Yeah, that one wasn't on my radar. That, that nah, one, I mean, I've seen make some people list. excited about it, but nah, I don't, I don't think that was it for me. Um, yeah, that one didn't make the list. I'm looking. Okay, obviously Resident Evil 8, just because I have no idea what they're going to do in there. Right. Um, 
But this odd world, and actually, even when we wrap up, <laughs> the odd podcast, world. okay, there's a lot of those fans out there. Did you play? I played some of the older ones, but um, I, I wasn't really a big fan of the series. Honestly, See, I haven't I'm played any real. other ones. The story looks interesting, but I don't again know what the heck I'm doing in the gameplay. Yeah, it didn't really look all that graphically, you know, supreme no, to me though. It, right. it looked like really a last gen system. I mean, to be honest, if I'm being honest with you, shitty. <laughs> kind of look like a PlayStation Three uh, <sighs> game, to be honest with you, man. Um, some of the some of the things I saw, um, the animation and stuff like that. So I don't know, man. Maybe they got a little ways to go on that. I hope they do. Um, but I'm not a I'm not a fan of that series. So I'd leave that in the hands of the real fans to to take apart and, and you know, um, look at. The other two I would want to mention is Hitman Three, um, just because I know the franchise, even though I haven't really played and beat the newer titles right so we'll see what they do with that and returnal that's the yeah one that's that one chick. <laughs> that definitely see, made the list now here's my thing with that are we just doing a, another good looking shooter game that we have so many of or is this really gonna <sighs> yeah it looked a little generic new? um it had a generic kind of look to it as she was shooting and, and running mm-hmm. uh, to me at first. Uh, now, like I said, this game is probably, you know, they put together, they probably threw together some kind of trailer for it right now. But I'm sure they're going to elaborate on, on a lot of these games. You know, they just wanted to get something out here to let us know what was coming. So I'm going to give that game a benefit of the doubt. And I'm going <laughs> to wait till I see a little bit more. But what I've seen, though, the basis of it looks pretty dope. You know, somebody who's on the planet losing their mind at the same time trying to figure everything out on on the fly and everything it looks kind of crazy so i mean i'm sure she's going to be able to do a lot of things she's going to have a lot of weapons and things at her disposal and, and all of that i'm just excited to, to see more i'll put it like that so i put it on the list because i think it has potential yeah so the other only other game i would mention too is the bug snacks game don't even and maybe this is me reaching but this game, I feel like, kind of highlights something that I felt like I want to see more done because I don't want to just be wow factor, you know. Where and when I say wow factor, I just mean like ridiculousness. Okay. Because that's what kind of came to mind with that Bug Snacks game. Okay. Um, yeah. And even with the mind. Returnal too, um, while I'm mentioning it now, like I don't want it to just be a ridiculous wow factor and you think that's going to do it and that's going to be the new generation like really something fleshed out and different is what i'm going for right is what i would say that game looks like a third party game though to me uh returnal does it looked like a third party game because you can tell but that wasn't the only one there was a couple of them in there where i felt like they were just going for what the heck is that right they are yeah you're right um Hitman has they they have a game coming out. I'm anxious to look at that. I'm anxious to see how that um pans out. Um I actually haven't had a chance to play Hitman because I actually have that game too, but I never played it yet. Um I can download it whenever. But I definitely want to uh because I used to fuck with Hitman hard, man. On I did PlayStation too. 3. That's why I like, mentioned it, but I didn't yeah. do it when they broke it down in the chapters or whatever. Yeah, that's the one that I wanna that I have now that you know I can play later that I'm gonna try to get to it one point or another um, because I did appreciate that franchise. I didn't appreciate the way that they separated it in parts. Um, I wanted to play it kind of like all the way through. So hopefully I get a chance to do that and, uh, you know, get a richly get around to it. But I enjoyed it thoroughly on the PlayStation three. Uh, the last one I played was Hitman Absolution. I think, <clears throat> I think that's how you, I, I forgot the damn name, but it was an excellent game though. It was definitely off the chain. Um, what else? There's another indie game uh, out here that I really, you know, got me curious. It, it's, it goes by the name of Goodbye Volcano High. It's an animated type of thing. The, the, the You know, the, the colors are really poppy um, in your face. Uh, the soundtrack, you know, resonated with me as well. You know, the song they played um, is a whole bunch of different animals, you know, going to this high school. Um, looks really, really story based. I don't know necessarily what the game entails yet, uh, but I am curious, and it what did make I'm the list. At right now, says this game looks like it's going to bring the kind of branching narrative design of Life is Strange or The Walking Dead. Right. So um, I actually have not played those, so that doesn't. I'm looking. Tell me much. I, 
I'm looking forward to that that style, that story. You know, because like I said, that 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 ah, what's the word I'm trying to say? Are we talking the, more Persona Five, like the high school stuff? Yeah, yeah, it's got it's yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a high school kind of vibe. It's like a drama. It kind of reminds me of like some sort of high school drama, uh, coming of age um, type of type of story backdrop on it, but with animated characters who are you know fucking animals um, of different races and different kinds of uh, you know. And, you know, I, I can see them, you know, kind of kind of reminds me of, you know, B-Stars a little bit like, you know, the route they might be trying to take with this, uh, you know, socially, you know, with a social backdrop and, and and how those things hinder or help, you know, depending on what what you are as as a as animal carnivore or not or, or you know, it, it, I don't know necessarily, but that's just the vibe I got off of it. And like I said, the music and everything like that, you know, it looked it sounded really well, really good, you know. Uh, I'm a sucker for a good soundtrack as well. So I don't know. It's something it's an indie title. I'm interested. And I always, you know, I love my indie developers, man. I mean, without them, uh, they, they've they come with some hits. There's, there's been a lot of games out there from indie, indie developers. And now, you know, with the PlayStation 5, um, they get a little bit more freedom. And we're going to see some triple A looking uh, games from these indie developers now, you know, and that's cool. And, and I can't wait. To, to, to play it i mean hyperlight drifter was one of my favorite games on the switch it, it was multi-platform uh game it, it came out for everything but um i have it on the switch but they have another game they're creating um i didn't put that game on the list because it it, it it barely just missed it but i don't know i might have to go back and look at it and, and you know run it back but yeah any developers man out there listening if you are hey I, we appreciate you man over here we definitely do I um, wanted to ask, what did you think about Pragmata? The one with the astronaut and the little girl? Um, that it was definitely uh it was definitely it didn't make the list, but it was definitely intriguing to a certain degree. Uh the art style was definitely different. Um but it didn't make the list for me. It wasn't something that no, I, you know, I had to tell. have, you know. And that's it's funny because I'm looking at the thing. It looks like something Hideo Kojima would concoct, and that's exactly what I was feeling. Really? Yeah, like that Death Stranding. Right. Oh well, it those had, words. Yeah, those vibes all over. It. Yeah, and as you oh. see, nobody's talking even talking about that game anymore, man. Like it's crazy that it was so hyped up, and then when people finally got a chance to to look at it and play it, they just it was like, yeah. And, I'm glad yeah. I did pick it up for myself. Um, I've rented it from Redbox, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and I definitely did not finish it, beat it. Um, that's actually another one that was interesting enough. The wife was very in- intrigued by that one. Wow. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Nah, it was yeah. a dud for me. And it's funny because, right. you know, it started with that. Is this an extreme walking simulator? And yeah. I pretty much say that's what it turned out to be. Right. <laughs> Uh, the graphics hey were phenomenal. We, I right. never can take that away, though. Right. Um, you, you gotta. You gotta. You wish you were doing more. Because it was a first party game. It was another first party game, uh, wasn't it? I, I don't think it came out for the I Xbox. I think no. it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, <clears throat> I I think you know graphically, yeah. Um, but you know, as much as I didn't like the game and all of that, you know, I have to give props to Kojima for just and for you know the game even being created and released. Because some people, there, you know, there's some people who actually love that game for whatever reason. They love it, and that's fine too. But oh, that, I told he, you that was one of the most interesting review processes I've seen on a game. You know, right, it's very, release. it was controversial, definitely. Yeah, and man. they, but at least he had the freedom to, to make what he wanted, you know, and make it how he wanted to make it. And Same that's what thing, I'm like once you've done good games, we'll, we'll give you that leeway to <laughs> go off right. the, the scales. It's a, a lot bit, of these. You, you got to innovate. Man. Yeah. It's art now, bro. It's like it's getting to that point where the games are looking so, you know, they're, they're like movies now. I mean, in production, the, the the value, the cost and, and all of that. Same thing. These are these are, you know, they're hiring these actors that are top tier. Um, you know, they're real deals. They're real things. And that's the cool thing about it all. You know, whether you love it or hate it, you know, it's an artistic chance he took. And, you know, I don't want to ever stifle anybody for for right. doing that to make make what you want and and have your vision out here because there's going to be people who are going to you know not appreciate it but they're going to have be others who are who love you for it. Oh, and there's definitely some people that was crying on that one. I remember. You know, yeah. Um yeah. 
I'm looking so, at you know, another one I wanted to get your opinion on Jet the Far Shore. That one looked pretty good. That one definitely looked pretty good. Um that's the one where he was in the ship, right? And yes, he was uh, flying around. You know, Asian chick it's saying my M E I. Okay. Yeah, the that one looked scout. I don't I need to know a little bit more though. I need to know a little bit more. Are we just playing this? It looks like an indie title as well. Um it is. but it because you know, are you gonna get out of the ship and if you do, you know, how would you operate? How would that work? I mean, I need to know a little bit more than that. Uh but it definitely intrigued me a little bit. I you know, I have to see a little bit more though on that. But yeah, I definitely saw that one. Um the last one on my list though was uh Kina Bridge of Spirits. Okay. Now that one actually looks like a Pixar movie as well, uh, Disney esque uh, type of graphics. Nice, That's the beautiful, one I said soft. Kind of like Pikmin to me. Okay, the creatures. Were you like you know, with the little black you, creatures? Or whatever. I mean, and I just funny thing is I can't say I have played Pikmin too much, but I have gotten hands on with it. But it's like you run around, you find those little things, and then they follow you around, and then you use them to fight stuff. And that's what okay. Kenya was looking like to me. Now, I, I think it's a little bit. But... Yeah, it looks like a little bit more to me. I think it's going to be some sort of action RPG, um, you know, with some exploration there. Uh, the game looks breathtaking, though. Uh, I saw oh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, I definitely want to want to give that one a go. I would not mind playing that um, and seeing what that's about. So Now, based off what you saw, is that one you'd be buying day one? Like, hey, this is coming out November and you're going down there and pre-ordering. Is that how I you might, feel yeah, about Kenya? Yeah, I've, so far, I, I would definitely take a chance that, on that. That's kind of the vibe I, I don't know if I've gotten from people where it's like, yeah, it looks good, it looks interesting, but I don't know if they're really to the point where it's like, can I pre-order it today? Right, I, I'm learn, you know, we're going to learn more about these titles, man, but from what I saw right now, it's definitely a game that I could see myself buying day one, for sure. If they add a couple more layers to it, they tell us, you know, because I saw it swinging around some little, some some kind of staff, staff or something <laughs> right so you know i liked what i saw i liked what i saw so i mean learning a little more from yeah it could definitely be a day one for your boy um you know i just have to learn a little bit more though that's it just a taste and so like i said though, at these title lists which one would you want like tomorrow off of this list um, I'm gonna have you to go were that with. Excited about it. Okay. Um, if I had to pick one right now, just one. Yeah, one. Well, shit, it's kind of hard. I got a three of them actually. Um, <laughs> but the, the uh, one we'll, that like it's coming out okay. tomorrow, you can come get it. You're so excited. After Little this devil trailer. inside. Little devil okay. inside. And Spider Man, Miles Morales. I for think sure. Little devil inside is my answer. Well, we kind of knew that. Right. And then Project Athea is another one, even though I haven't seen hardly anything on it. But what I've seen so far. Yeah, I would give that the number two that. spot over Spider-Man because I, I, you know, I enjoyed it. I said I didn't beat it, but I really feel like it's probably going to be that just slightly upgraded. Miles Morales. Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, but like I, I said, I don't know how much I really more. see him innovating on that one. We're gonna see. I think they will though, man. So this song we're talking about. They 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 learn from their That's mistakes true. usually. Um is the it, only it's by the that same developer, right? Insomnia yeah. every night did. Yeah. It's got the same developer. Um the only the only thing I didn't like about the Spider Man, the first Spider Man, and what most people didn't like is the play through the when you had to play as like on um, you know, those other characters. Like when it wasn't action based, when you had to Okay, you know, good. Those. So it wasn't just me that didn't enjoy it. No. No, okay. nobody enjoyed that. Because um, I think that was a big turn off. <laughs> right. It wasn't a lot, but it was just enough to make you like, oh, God, another one of these. Like, right. <laughs> another one of these type things or whatever. But yeah, I mean, other than that, if they fix that, man, then we got a keeper. Uh, we definitely. I did notice it looked like they did a little bit more with the action sequences in the Miles Morales. Uh, tried some innovative things. Who who knows what they got in store? I mean, we're they're gonna we're gonna I'm learn going more. By, trust um, me. The trailer footage they showed. That's awesome. We're definitely gonna we're definitely gonna see more to it, and I think you know it's definitely gonna be it's definitely worth it's gonna be worth a playthrough for sure. But Devil Inside, though, yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to that one. That indie title, it, it's it's crazy. I love some indies too. Don't get it twisted. Um, it's a dark game too. It looks kind of 
dark, but it's got its own style, its own swag to it. You know, I appreciate games like that. So, um, sword fights look kind of vicious. He was out there fighting, you know, werewolves and shit. I'm like, yo, okay, um, uh-huh. I'm down for that. So yeah, um, yeah, man, those are the games. I mean, those are the games. The PlayStation Five is here now. I mean, it's around the corner, guys. It's it's definitely going down. I hope it is enough for everybody to get a copy. Uh, you know, when 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 it comes out, uh, I think that you know we will. I also hope they have other colors. Um, you know, if this is all they have, fine, that's cool. But I would prefer like a black, black on black, if possible, or I call it a uh, Wesley Snipes on Don Cheadle. That's uh that's the black on black. Um, but yeah, but if they don't cool, the only other question I have about the PlayStation Five is the accessories. Okay, we know that there's gonna be a dope ass headphone, um, some some headphones to it. There's gonna be a remote. There's gonna be a control charger. But does this stuff come with the system? That's the question. I've looked at looked it up, and I haven't been able to find out. All it says is that these are gonna be accessories. Now, are they separate from the system? I'm assuming that they will be. And I only say that because. The production on this on these, you know, machines are definitely, you know, pricey and they probably looking at it like, yo, we have to make our money back in some way, shape, form or fashion. Man. And with that, I feel you know, eight hundred dollars. I hope it is. Nah, it's not going to be headphones. eight. I think the PlayStation is going to be five hundred, bro. It's going to be four hundred ninety nine. The uh, the digital only is going to be three ninety nine um, mm, because wow. there's been leaks. There's already been leaks out here. And in, in, in I think it was France or. Uh, another country and they had it for they had the download the digital only one for 3.99 okay they they uh, they took it they you know they had it up for maybe a day or so and then they took it down um but they had it up long enough for somebody to find it and uh they took it down so i think that's the prices we're looking at and those accessories are going to be sold separately those headphones all that shit is going to going to come separate so um some of them was icy you know, those headphones, I, I I got headphones. I think, you know, my USB headphones will work um, with the current system. So I'm not really worried about that. As far as the charging is concerned, I don't know what kind of charger port is going to be in the back of the controller. Once I find that out, um, that will change some things because, you know, I currently use a, a phone charger for my controller now. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of questions, you know, answered very, very soon. Um, that remote, I don't necessarily know what I would use that remote for. Maybe if you wanted to watch you know, something. And like I said, who knows what the interface is going to look like? That controller may come in handy. I mean, this PS5 might be like, yo, yeah, I'm going to watch a DVD in here. or I might watch a Blu-ray or I'm going to use this to go through YouTube and watch my videos, you know? Yeah, I was going to say, now I got a smart TV, so I wouldn't do it so much, but definitely right. to just YouTube on there or something. Click you know what I'm saying? I, mean, I think there was a moment I was doing the Disney Plus app through the PlayStation. Like, Right. I could see it. And maybe they have some sort of software, kind of like how when you edit your videos on the PS4, they might have something with the PS5 like that. And you could really, that remote might come in handy. Um, But we won't know necessarily until we get there. All I know is I need two controllers. I need a backup controller. I always do that, and those get expensive. Um, You know, so not much so wear and tear on that first controller. You know, you want to you want to give that some some air. But like I said, we'll we'll learn more later. I really hope they have alternate colors, though. I really hope. They do, um, you know, and, and I want it. So black, please give me black. If not, hey, I'm cool. I'm down with, with I'll take it how it is. I'm just so excited to be a PlayStation fan. I'm so excited to that, that we're here. We're finally here around this corner, man. It, it's going down. I can't wait for all these titles to come. It's going to be sick. It's going to be crazy. And like I said, I'm still loving my PS4. I mean, I still am in love with it. It will always be special to me for the titles. I mean, you know, Ghost of Tsushima coming, not even here yet. The Last of Us 2, not even here yet. So, yeah, man, big things coming, guys. If you're a Sony fan, um, it's all good. If you're an Xbox fan, you know, I don't know. Okay. Um, you guys, you guys have some things. You have some work to do, but we shall see. Um, we got hats and T-shirts in the back for y'all, boy. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? You're always welcome to the dark side. You're always welcome to come to the dark side. Please, we'll, we'll welcome you with open arms. You know, um, but in the end, we're all gamers. We all love games. So if you, whether you're playing Xbox, whether you're playing Sony, whether you're playing Nintendo, you know, hey, I love you all. We're all in the same game. Okay, we all bleed gamer. 
That's that's how I look at it. Yeah. Everybody bleeds gamer. <laughs> okay. Studio Mac just said he'd be derelict on his duty if he didn't let you know the titles you finna miss out on with this Sony. <laughs> yeah, you got to. You know what I mean? You got to, man. You really do. The the first party games, if you haven't played your God of Wars, if you haven't played your Horizon Zero Dawns, your Spider Man's, your your Neos, okay, your your Uncharted's, your Last of Us. I mean, you 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 can't you just can't fathom. I don't think you can fathom what you're absolutely missing here, man. I mean, these are true uh, experiences, man. These, these these are experiences that will last sure. a lifetime. I mean, I still remember my last of us playthroughs. I mean, even before I replayed it, I mean, I remember what it left me, how it left me feeling. You know what I mean? I remember how God of War had me, my fucking jaw dropped, you know, um, with, the, with that story, with that new story. Like Kratos is a person now. He's, he's like, I just, that is my dude. You know what I mean? Um, Everything he's learned at this point, just so many, so many characters that that you come in contact with, and in the worlds and the lore, and you can only get it from PlayStation, man. I mean, you, in my opinion, you know. Yeah, and that goes with what I was saying about looking for my unicorn. I believe if anybody has the ability to deliver it, it's going to be Sony, man. You know, Sony's coming, and then this is not it. And that, that's another thing I meant to say before I leave. Tie this 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 conversation off with the PlayStation Five. Um, this this is. Uncharted territory, man. I mean, this is just the beginning, okay? And, and they've shown me that they've put out enough to let us know that, yo, this is coming in the beginning. And I'm I'm really satisfied with what they have right now. You know, with, with you can say the same thing for, for the last reveal when it first came out with the PS4. You couldn't. But now you have things to look forward to on day one. And that's the thing that I'm excited about. You still got your backlog, but you also have things to look forward to on day one and beyond. Besides so they're just destiny like me on the first one. Right. There's so much more to come. So in the in the coming months and all that, I'm sure they got things that man, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be crazy. And we're talking about holiday time, so a lot of these they're gonna get out the door um on holiday season because they're like, yo, we want we want these guys to start buying these games for the system. We wanna, you know, get it in here. And then, you know, New Year, psh, 2021, that first thir- that first quarter, I mean, I am so so excited to see what they're gonna have on that first quarter. You know what yeah, I mean? You bring Already. up a real good point because if you remember, like PlayStation Two, PlayStation Three, there was literally like one to three games when them things came out. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And now we don't have that. We don't have that problem. We don't have that issue. You know what I mean? And there's still a lot of people that still, you know, with their PS4s, and they're gonna, you know, wait like I did. You know, it's like, hey, well, you know, I'll wait a year maybe two before I decide to get a PS five when there's more titles out there or when I can afford it or whatever reason you choose, you know? So it's not necessarily a bad thing for somebody to say, well, I'm just going to rock with PS four for a while. I mean, there's so many games that I haven't played that I would love to go back and, and grab. Uh, so with all due respect, by all means, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. If you choose to hold out or, or whatever, if you, if you can't get one day one, you know, maybe they sell out like hotcakes and, and we have to wait for that next batch. Um, to come out you know there's all kind of things that we have to think about but you know you're not losing you're not taking any l's you know with the playstation 4 please believe me you're not so yeah i remember i didn't get the playstation 4 when it first well i did get it when it first came out but i didn't play like any systems prior to because i was like in college i was wrapping up i had like two jobs like gaming just was not in the cards so that's right but i knew you know i was about to graduate I'm getting this PlayStation 4. So, I was, like I said, I was there out the box on that one. Right. Um, rightfully so. And I do plan on the PlayStation 5 to do it the same way. Like, especially like we're yeah. talking about they're actually going to have some titles. Oh, yeah. The stage and there's some me. other stuff coming out that I don't think people have seen yet because I saw a game yesterday. Man, you're going to make me look it up. But it was about werewolves. Okay. Um, and it's from the same... Uh, universe is that game vampire apparently really yes um but it's got three stages your human stage your wolf stage where you're like a four-legged wolf and then your third stage where it's like full-on werewolf transformation um but that's coming what here pretty soon mm, and that I, I, that's, to me. that's one game vampire is one that i have i really want to play that's one that I, yeah, I had a chance to get. Yeah, you know Masquerade, which we saw with the Xbox reveal. Right. 
I had a chance to play that too, man, on Xbox, but I didn't. They took it off the list for whatever reason. It's not there to with the game <laughs> pass. Because they anymore. had that masquerade coming. That's they bullshit, need some man. More bread out of that. That's bullshit. But you know, I, I, it, it's cool. Because that I'll was honestly one of the best games in that Xbox reveal. Yeah, yeah, so, they had they had a couple of things, but you know, that was a bright spot. Um, yeah, this one is coming well, out. We know for, that's not going to be an Xbox exclusive, right? So this one is werewolf game is is definitely going to be multi platform is what you're saying. I'm pretty sure. Just I need to know what that like fucking is because I haven't seen that. Yeah, I'm I just curious. saw this like yesterday. I'm so curious. I'm curious now. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> pull a name up while you talk about. Something I'm now. so fucking curious. Um, yeah, man. Um, I mean, that's I mean that's our PS5. You know, talk. I mean, we're gonna do a little anime. We're gonna talk about you know what we've seen. Um. It's what called Werewolf in... the Apocalypse Earth Blood. Wow, okay. Yeah, I didn't see that one. Did not <laughs> see that at the show. <laughs> Did not see that one. I will definitely look into that. Yeah, definitely check that out. I still I will gotta definitely look at, look at that. Die. Oh, the Adventures of Die, yeah. Yeah, still... yeah, Square Enix, baby. Square Enix. Um but yeah, um, I'm gonna look that up and later, and I'll definitely see if I can get some information on that. And that sounds like a YouTube video right there for me as well. Uh, but Baki is, you know, the anime that you know I finished. I think you finished it too, right? Yes. Those okay, on the Netflix. Only ones I made it through this past week, but yeah. Third season done. It's a wrap. Uh, very good show, guys. If you haven't seen Baki yet, man, I just please. Look at it. Check it out. This one featured a heavy dose of Muhammad Ali and his son, um, you know, fictional, of course. But uh, it was it was great. I, I, I enjoyed it myself. All, it tied it all together. I, I, I enjoyed myself, man. I really did. Uh, I, I mean, I'm looking forward to the next season already. And they always do this at the at the, the 13th episode. You know, they pretty much wrap everything else up in the first 12. And in that last episode, they give you a segue into the next season. They always do this. So Tokyo is about to, it's about to be some smoke out here in these Baki streets. I'll Man, just say if, that. If, I would highly recommend to anybody, if you can, uh, watch the original. Yeah. Um, From when he was a kid. I And the reason why I say that is because the first, what, two seasons of Baki? This is season three, right? Mm-hmm. The first two seasons, I thought they were okay. I felt like it was kind of all over the place. Shit, I uh, like them. we mentioned, I like uh, that Kenshin Ashura more. I felt like it right, was more Ashura. connected. Yeah. But when I went back and watched the original Baki, it's very well done. Um, I understand why they didn't do a remake of it now that I've seen it. It made me appreciate what we saw in season three and those other seasons a lot more. So it's definitely worthwhile if you can. Obviously not necessary because of the way they wanted to kind of stand alone, but right. it'll definitely do something for your appreciation of it. Um, just to throw that out there. You oh, and I love the first, the first uh, season too. The soundtrack, all of that. What was I saying? It was. It kind of reminds you of those old school, um, <clears throat> like the kickboxer the, movie and right, stuff like the, that. The, those those B it movies definitely had those vibes. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's no retreat, so no surrender. Say, I so I remember. Remember that. Yeah. But season three, yeah, fire, man. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I haven't had time to really get into any other anime. I mean, Dora Hidoro, I started that. I'm like, um, what, five, four or five episodes in that right now? And that's just because time constraints, man. I've been working, doing a lot of shit at the house, um, doing videos and working on other things, man. So. <clears throat> I didn't have a time, have, have much time to uh, delve into the rest of it. But I, I do. Uh, plan on finishing that and then trying to tackle something else. Um, I think I'm ready to go explore some some um, some subs now because I've been doing a lot of dubs and I think One it's time to on Netflix to now. You want to try that again? <sighs> yeah, I don't. I couldn't I don't have get it. I couldn't get through the first season. I think right. there might be some greatness on the other side, but I couldn't get through the first season. It's too. It's too. It's too wacky uh, for me. It's a little bit. I don't know. It's just not. It's just not right now. It just doesn't resonate with me. Um, and it's extremely long now. One day would I would I give it a chance oh, again? Man. Sure. Yeah, that's one of the longest ones I've but, seen or heard of. But yeah, I, I don't think know. It's got Naruto beat, doesn't it? 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's got Naruto beat for sure. Yeah, his number as far as episodes are concerned, for sure. Yeah, yeah episode. But uh, that's that's it. I mean, I don't even know what what next what anime I want to watch next. Like, I'm kind of I I don't know where I want to go with it. I'm just gonna pick one and, and probably just start flying flying again. But um, I'll definitely keep you guys posted. But right now, Baki is the only one I got done. There's do a new subtitle more. one on Hulu. Um, it's about some. I mean, it's mainly set with like a German backdrop, I guess. Uh, not so much Nazi or anything like that, but um, to my understanding, they're like German heroes. But it's an anime, and I think it was subtitled. I started watching it, but because it was subtitled, okay. I went to something else. That was on Hulu. Looks like yeah, I haven't something. been on Hulu in a minute, so yeah, I need to Recently definitely go back, dropped. take a look. It's in a book. It's reading Rainbow. No. Nah. Before um, we close out on Baki, what was your favorite fight? That is easy. Man. You know what? It is very hard to choose on that because there were a lot of dope fights, man. <laughs> there really was. Um, I can't I can't really I can't say I could name one, man. I mean, I know the old man did his thing um from the wheelchair. That that guy uh was something else. But I don't have a favorite fight. I mean, I really like mostly all of them. I mean, fuck it, I do. I mean, I would have loved to see my boy Dopo or Dapo, however you pronounce it, um, uh, more. That's one of my favorite characters. If you guys don't know, he's the bald headed guy with the patch and he's a karate uh, expert and he's the tiger killer. Um, that dude, you know. But um, yeah, he mopped up Muhammad Ali Jr., you know, uh, at the end. But yeah. yeah, there was no favorite fight. They just it's just all in all a great a great series for me. I loved it. I loved the last episode where they, you know, got everybody thirsty again. You know, I was like, oh, man, now we gotta wait. But we got King Getting Sure coming very soon. That's coming out. There's just a lot of dope anime out there. I mean, High Score Girl finally came out, season two. I mean, so good. So fucking good. Uh huh. Oh yeah, you supposed to check out um Dang, Log Horizon, was it? The one I was telling you? Which one? Dang, it's on Hulu. With the... Uh, Login know. something, I think. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah. I'd have to... Look, man, there's so much anime that has, has you know, been through my, through my dome. I still haven't caught up with Tower of God yet. I mean, I still... Oh, yeah. You know, That's the one. I was enjoying that. Right, like I, I said, man, it. it's just so much stuff going on. I only watched we, the first episode. Me too. That's what I'm saying. Um, because you know it's week to week, so but then that week, you know, you forget and you jump on other things, you do other stuff, and it's so much to consume now. Like yeah. Excel World, really. Okay, Excel World. Okay. Excel yeah. World. Okay. I definitely will definitely check that one out because I it, you said it was like um Sword Art Online, right? Kind of yep. had that vibe. Okay. Yeah, we was having a discussion on Facebook with somebody about and when I say Sword Art. Excel World is with an E. Uh, thing. Yeah, I, I got it on my um on my two watch. It's definitely it's been there. There's another just, one with an A. That ain't the right one. Really? No, hmm. A. Okay. I'll have to look at that. I'll have to look into yeah, that. That one. That's one I wanted to see what you thought of. But I okay, think yeah. If it's anything door, like Sword Art, next I need to finish that. Yeah, Dora Dora is crazy, man. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if that's anything like Sword Art, man, I'll definitely check it out. But um, season one, there's nothing like season one of Sword Art Online. They could have just, they should have just left it like that, man, in my opinion. But hey, that's me. Uh, I'm only buying the first season. I'm only fucking with the first season. Like, I might watch it. I watched season two, and I think I started season three. And then after that, I was like, nah, this is... It's not the same. Now they do have different different versions of Sword Art Online. There's this other one called Sword Art Online. I don't. It's an. It's in the same universe, but it's different characters. It's this chick, man, who's in all pink. Her gun is pink. All the shit. And you know, in the real world, she's like tall and lanky and kind of awkward looking. But you know, in in the in the world, the online world, she's completely different. She's short and she's just deadly. Um, I'm. I thought about looking at that one, so I might look at some of these and see how they turn out. But. Yeah, the, that first season, there's nothing like it, for, in my opinion. The first season of Sword Art Online is, is one of the best out there in those uh, anime streets. 
But yeah, man, we could talk about anime all day. As of late, I haven't watched anything but Baki, but I plan on changing that. And I also plan on, you know, getting this guy on the show a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, oh, we, we can make that a reality. definitely coming back for the thoughts on uh, Last of Us 2. Man, come on. I'm doing a whole podcast on that, baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, an hour and a half I might show, not probably. be able, yeah. I might not be able you to. You think you're going to be it. able to have it beat by that one next week? Well, no. That, don't that's hit the it thing. like that. I'm not gonna be able to have it done by next week. I'll probably it'll I'll have to I'll have to do it the following week because mm. I'm exploring. Okay. Um I'm gonna you play you're gonna it. Try from, to get two playthroughs in? Oh yeah, I'm definitely running it back. I'm definitely gonna run it back, um, for sure, when I beat it the first time, for sure. Now here's an interesting story about that, guys, while you're listening. Um I said I was gonna get the DLC. I mean not the DLC, the uh, collector's edition. Now here's my here's my here's my issue. Okay. I don't know what I should do. Um I pre-ordered it, okay, on Amazon, but because of the coronavirus and because of all of the back, you know, all of the shipping issues and stuff that they have right now, I will not be getting that until the end of fucking July, okay? July 20th at the earliest and, like, I think the 29th at the latest is what they told me. So it broke my fucking heart. But as a failsafe, I had it pre-ordered, you know, at GameStop, the, the standard edition. But... Um, on further review, I found Target has apparently they have some copies right now of the collector's edition. Now, I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't oh, know really? if it's I a didn't typo. Know it was Target had the collector's edition. Yeah, they have it. So I'm like, mm, and it's a little cheaper. It's like 184 after tax and everything. So the only thing I have, the only question I have with Target is if I can order it and have it shipped to Target, I might just pre order it at Target too. And whichever one hits first, because Target claims that they're going to have it on the release date. So on the release day, they'll ship it. So I'll get it like at the latest, like on the 25th or something like that. So um, I'll still have it the same month and I won't have to wait uh, till the following month to get it. So I'm thinking about doing that um, and then still buying <laughs> The Last of Us, you know, from GameStop because I'll have it, you know. Uh, hopefully I can get it Thursday instead of Friday. And then once I finish that, I can take that copy, give it away or trade it in for um, credit towards uh, Ghost of Tsushima, something, do something with it. Uh, so, yeah, man, I'm kind of I don't know what I need. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I know I want the collector's edition, though. I do know that. A um, uh, quick question. Is there anything in there that you're particularly excited about? Kind of like fallout 4 that had that pit boy i thought that was pretty dope um is there something like that yeah the statue um usually the statue is the main thing and in the book as well the art book uh with all the art of the characters and stuff in there um even ellie's uh her 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 wrist her wristband um in there which is you know supposedly you know very very important in the game story wise or whatever it has meaning behind it but the statue is the main thing with her playing the guitar um that you know she got from joel that is uh and she's all covered in blood you know from just killing some yeah, killing a whole like bunch of motherfuckers Batman after a long fight. man long i mean she, ellie could be my new bitch i mean she really could um I, you know i love her as a character i loved her in, in the first game and um you know my little savage you know what i'm saying so yeah um yeah she definitely uh convinced me made me a believer and you know yeah. I'm, a, I'm a tough critic but uh I've yeah seen enough yeah i mean i just mentioned it seeing her all beat up like that look, looking like batman after a long night I mean, yeah that that speaks to what you do man it has yeah. a toll <laughs> it's i'm so excited i can't contain myself um over a game um and like i said i'm really into story i'm really into lore and <clears throat> you know backdrops you know, certain backdrops and certain stories, uh, character development, those type of things, you know, the, the weight that it has on you. And when you're talking about post-apocalyptic universe and you're talking about how nobody is a good guy or a bad guy, that's what I think I love most about this game. Um, you're in a world where no, there's no heroes. There's no real heroes. Everybody in here you come across has done some of the things that you've done for simply to survive, simply to try to make it to another day. And that's what I think Naughty Dog is trying to convey with the audience. And I think they're going to, you know, do it in spades. 
And that's what the first one did. I mean, just, you know, they're just out here trying to make it, you know, you're looking at a girl trying, you know, going out, jumping on niggas backs, killing them, sticking them in the neck, um, you know, fighting, you know, clickers trying to creep by. I mean, all these things trying to survive in this world and just to get some medicine for, you know, Joe, you know, the things that people do for people they care about, the people they love, whether it be good, whether it be bad or indifferent, you know, and it's and some, everybody this, has a story, which is one of exactly. the things I'm understanding they're focusing on. Like there every you character you kill has a name. Has there a you go. Everybody really has a story. You. Exactly. And I don't know if I'm spoiling something else, but you know that. No, nah. uh, nah. uh, that's all like evidence. Five Bloods on uh, Netflix, Spike Lee's new movie. Um, there's a scene in there where they are no, don't uh, spoil going it. through the woods. Huh? Don't spoil it. What? Because I haven't watched it yet. I wanted to. This we, is a I told you my story. This might be huh? a spoiler. I'll leave it alone. It's just connecting <laughs> to the human side of who you're killing, is what I'm right, saying. Right. Right. It gives you, but yeah. yeah. I'll leave it. Let's just see. But yeah, right. man, that it's, movie, that's, the, that's, the reason why I was going to bring it up, and we'll wait now, but the reason why I bring up that is because it highlights how important that slight change is when you realize this is a person who has a family and. All of this type of stuff. Because, I mean, even you told me there were people who played it and they started not wanting to kill people <laughs> as right. they were playing through the game. So, right. I think that's There's experience. Yeah. yeah, it's very dark. It's a very dark game psychologically. And you have to be a little cynical to, to enjoy it probably. Um, but it, that's what it wants. It's supposed to do that. Like, it, you know, they said that they made this game to literally, you know, it's not everybody. They didn't make it for everybody to be. To love it. And see, that's the problem with a lot of game developers, even directors and movies and things like that. If you're going into something and trying to create something that trying to please everybody, you already stepped out wrong. You already made, you know, a, a bad choice because you have to put your nuts out there. You have to believe in what, you know, what vision you're trying to convey. You have to, uh, whether people hate it or love it or, or whatever, because that is the job of, you know, the the creator and the artist, I think. And he said that, you know, making this game is going to create a lot of friction between, you know, fans and all of that. And he that is what he's, you know, in it for, you know, because the game, even the backdrop of that is is it's gray. Like everything is there's there's, there's no definitive answer to the things that happen in this world. You know, it's all subjective, you know, depending on whose eyes you're looking at it through. So that is, I think the beauty of this game because as much as, as as savage as this game is and as dark as people have claimed it to be there are still you know sprinkles of beauty that they they bestow upon you as you you know as you move through this through this this world you know what i mean and th those subtle quiet times when you're walking through a library or an abandoned house in a neighborhood strip you know you're finding certain things you're looking at certain things and the backdrops are, are beautiful the, the the greenery coming out of the walls you know uh, the beautiful sky you know, how it glistens off of you know an old building or something like that i mean these are things uh quiet moments in the game and even interactions between characters that you get to witness that show you um that make the dark moments even darker okay it's just a beauty of of a way, and I've, I've I've gotten all of this off of listening to reviewers talk about it, and that's what get, got me got me excited because I know what I'm in for, man. I'm in for a whole bunch of, you know, crazy rides, surprises. Um, you know, some things are gonna probably piss me off. I know it, and that's how I know he's doing his job. That's how I know Naughty Dog has done their job. I ha I want to be pissed off sometimes. I don't want to agree with everything that I think in my mind should happen in this game because I played the first one. I mean, that's what they're going for, and I think that's what we're going to receive. Mic drop. But yeah, man, um, <laughs> I, I really want to thank you for for, for joining me, bro, because uh, it's been a while, and I really appreciate uh, you uh, giving me the time because I know you got a lot on your plate now. This man is uh, welcoming a new life um, very, very shortly, and you know, I'm right behind him. So we, we have a lot on we have a lot, you know, coming up. So we're we're gonna try to be gamers and, and daddies. Um, you know, we're gonna try to balance that out. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be crazy to see, but it's I think it's gonna be a fun ride. And hopefully uh we do another show together um in in the future. I would love to have you back on because, you know, 
these things are important, man. I enjoy talking about passionate things like games and, and movies and anime with other people who feel the same way, man. That's what this is all about. That's why people listen to the show. Um, and, and I love all of you guys. I, let me say that again. And I always I, I, I try and I hope that I convey that to you guys enough. I try to, you know, let you guys know how I feel and how grateful I am um, to all my listeners, because without you, like there really would be no there would, wouldn't be this thing, man. You know, no. um, I went into this with no expectations, man. I, I just I want to do a show talking about things that I love and. It just made me feel so happy to know that other people all around the world, man, feel the same way and literally tune in to hear what I have to say, man. As crazy as it is and crazy as it sounds, it's a beautiful thing. And, and I love all of you. If you're new to the podcast, if you're new to the show, hey, man, thank you for your time. Thank you for lending me your ear, whether you're running, whether you're in the bed, whether you're driving to work, whatever the fuck you're doing. I appreciate it. And that's from the fucking heart. Um, if you guys want to reach out to me and social media, you can easily do that. Okay. Uh, Instagram is studio MacGyver seven, nine. Uh, Twitter is at studio MacGyver. Check out the Facebook page as well at studio MacGyver. Um, I'm doing a lot of videos now, guys, you need to reach out, holler at your boy. I got a lot of stuff in the works, a lot of things on the way. Uh, I'm talking about all kinds of stuff, the PlayStation five, all these things, check out studio MacGyver TV. Okay. On YouTube, we're doing things here, trying to grow the channel and all of that. If you into merch, we talk about nerd culture. We talk about anime. We talk about games, guys. Beautiful Nerds is where you might want to go check out. That's www.beautifulnerds.com. Nerds is spelled N-U-R-D-Z. Is there anything? Is there a way that, you know, my listeners could reach out to you? Is there is there a Twitter that you want to give? Maybe some information um, you might want to give some of the listeners out there. Um, I do have a channel I'm working on. Not too much out there now, but like you saying we plan on doing a lot more to transition with that um next time i really do plan on dropping my uh my newest platform even though it's gonna be a little bit more so about money but it'll be good good information for everybody okay you heard it here first this dude is an auditor by trade so uh he can definitely help you uh save some money <laughs> and uh, if you're looking to get that playstation 5 hey, he might be able to help you get there a little bit quicker right you're gonna but, need yeah. some funds to get it right you know what so. I'm saying? So yeah, he's doing his thing <laughs> out here in these uh these uh these these money making streets. So yeah, man, when when he, when that information comes available, like I said, hopefully he'll be on the show again and we can discuss that in further detail. I'm planning we'll on it for this reality. Last of Us Two review, if not just to listen in on what you're saying. Oh God, yes, we we have to we have to readdress it, and I have to make sure that's what I'm saying. I have to make sure everybody has a chance to play it. Two days ain't gonna be enough, man, to really get out there and flesh it out. You need a whole fucking week. So yeah, I'll definitely talk about my progress and where I'm at. But as far as the whole spectrum, first impression, so to speak. right? First impression, so to speak, and then I'll and I'll dive in full body when it when it. If after I get a week with it, man, I, I definitely will. So you guys will definitely hear about it. It'll probably be on YouTube as well. I'll be breaking shit down. So, yeah, man, uh, this is a long show. Play. This was, yeah, the gameplay. This was a long show, though. This was my longest show in forever, man. Two hours strong. Fuck. Um, and that's cool. And that's because I didn't get to get you guys the episode last week. So I at least owed you that, you know, some some some, some substantial content. OK, I had to, had to put a little fat on it. So here it is. So uh, with that being said, guys, we're going to get out of here. Once again, I want to thank everybody for listening to the show. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you for listening. This is Studio MacGyver, and you have been listening to Studio MacGyver's Dragon Ball and Video Game Podcast. See you next time.